Sorry, I just <laughs> wanted to leave that there for a while. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, the grind. Hi guys, welcome. Uh, I just did that last minute, so I'm still a little bit tickled by it. Um, yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. We're back so soon. I know, there's so many other things I could have been doing. But, <clears throat> got one more task I need to, to fulfill before we move on and that is to grab some pharmaceutical isolators and um, get the dirty drives done on this one and the python that we're going to buy oh talking of pythons where's me mouse Ooh, right uh, let's go shipyard do you have one here by any? Yeah, 48 million. Can we afford that? <sighs> well, we can now. Um, yeah, and I did, I know I just made an offhand comment on yesterday's stream about wanting it in blue, but I'm going to have it in blue and it's not going to be this lovely as you are blue it's i'm just going to do a blue livery i think yeah so i think this is going to be next for us just because of the fact i i the ones in between they seem to be kind of purpose built like you know sort of like this is passengers and combat and combat but this one is multi-purpose and this is what i want to use it for i want it to be a little jack of all trades kind of deal <clears throat> um at least until the Python 2 comes out. So, Commander Steve Zodiac and Blogtwot are here. Hello, guys, and welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, let me just fix this on my browser because I've got a. You know, when YouTube buffers and you've got that rotating circle y thing? It's doing that and it's annoying me. There we go. Okay, so. Now, pharmaceutical isolators. Well,. <laughs> Your brain's minced. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, mine too. So I'm done. Let me just go launch ED Odyssey Material Helper and ED Market Connector. Like to have those running. Um, now, the upshot is to look for high grade. Um, oh, wow, there's been a new. Material helper since yesterday. Must have had a bug in it then. Yeah, the trick is to be looking in outbreak systems which are high grade. No. <laughs> which have high grade emissions. We'll we're, we're looking at high grade emissions in outbreak systems. That's what we're going for. But a lot of other things can exist inside those high grade emissions as well um, now if you go to Inara it will tell you just that go to outbreak system or go to yeah go to outbreak systems and look for them in high grades it'll actually say it in a different way it'll say that they're available in high grades USS's but mainly in outbreak systems so that's what we're going to target now Odyssey material helper goes a little bit further than that and says high grade emissions in independent or alliance systems with a state of outbreak. So <clears throat> there's two ways of doing this. We can just tackle any outbreak system, see if we get any luck, and if not, then focus on independent or alliance. Or we can start off by focusing on independent and alliance systems. And if we're not getting any of any luck there, then we can go further afield and I think that's the one I want to do 
Um, so, we know they're elusive, these things. We know they are. But once we've located a system uh, that is in the right state and we see them in a high grade, we can, we can just stay there and keep waiting for them to pop up. And eventually, uh, we'll get what we need. Now, we need to only get 10 in order to do uh, grade 5 dirty on one ship but I want to do it on two so I'm gonna want I'm gonna need 20 um, but let's see how it goes I, I might it might burn me out uh, too soon now the pharmaceutical isolators are only needed for the grade 5 upgrade they're not needed for grades 1 to 4 in fact further than that pharmaceutical isolators are only only used in grade 5 dirty drives. That's the only time they're ever used. <clears throat> so if you're happy with grade 4 with drag, you know, you can you can go to the engineer and just go to grade 4 and then go all the way to the end of grade 4. Um, if you're happy with that, which it, I think it's a decent compromise, um, then you, we don't need any of these. But we're going to look anyway. So, the first place to start is the galaxy map. Um, okay, so let's go to... Uh, let's see, we need to go here. And we want to change it to Outbreak. Now, if I can find independent or alliance systems in amongst these dots, if we find any of these dots, then so much the better. This is independent. It's not high population, but is it a case that the more population, the more high grades there's going to be? Because there's more ships to drop stuff in these places. I don't know. They're like little loot crates, aren't they, really? The total eclipse is just starting. Oh, is it? Is it visible in the UK? Um... I'm just going to ask on, on the thing. Nope, it says, unfortunate. oh, I'll, I'll be dead by the time they do the next one. Unfortunately, the UK won't be so lucky as, with, as the next total eclipse visible from this country will be 2090. I'll be long gone, guys. The worms will have eaten me by then. Uh... Scotland, yeah, it's Scotland's more up north. Yeah, uh, well, if it's a stream, I'm, I'll, I'll check it out later. I don't need to see it live. If I can't see it out of my own window or from outside, <laughs> there's no point me seeing it live anywhere else, really. Unless aliens come, that would be that would be something. Right, let's jump next door then. We'll we'll bring the diamond back because it's got the best jump range. And we're going to need to be jumping around a little. <clears throat> a total eclipse of the heart. Dee, dee, dee. Okay. Ship released. Watch for oncoming traffic when passing through the airlock. Right guys, here we go. We're taking to the skies once again. But we're staying bubble side this time. That's a new a new buzzword guys. Bubble side. Staying inside the bubble. Oh, it's the devil incarnates. <laughs> Yeah, I, we did have a little look for these, didn't we? A little bit um, earlier, like a few streams back. We, we were looking for some of these farmers. I think before we left to do the 5,000 light year trip, I think we were looking for some farmers. Didn't quite find them. And farmers with a PH, by the way, not the OR, where's me tractor? Not those, not those farmers. You don't get those in the States, right? 
farmers who say, Ooh, got to buy some fertilizer. No. Right, so... <laughs> I don't know what accent that is. Is it Cornwall, Devon? I don't know what the hell that is. But anyway... So we're going to see if we can just grab some high grades. So, let's do the old honky, honky scan. And they're all down here. So let's <coughs> isolate these. <coughs> see if we've got any high grades with some decent time remaining on them. Ooh, I'll tell you what's better though. Yeah, nav beacon, quicker. Because then we'll get them all at the same time and we'll have all of the countdowns on all of the high grades all at the same time. And then we'll be able to pick and choose the order we can maybe do something in. Yes, let's do it this way. It's here, so we may as well use it. Navi bacon. Come on. Looks like one of those, uh, <coughs> a nav beacon looks like a kind of a bomb you'd find on a James Bond film or a <laughs> cheesy movie. It's the blue wire. Right. Okay, let's go. Oops, wrong way. Okay, let's bring the ship to a rest and see what we have. Do we have any at all? That's the question. And if so, can we even freaking get there? Oh dear. No, guys, at this time there is no high grades. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> Debris field. What can we find in those things? Is this for real? It is for real. There are none. Okay, so we'll pop back in here. Oops, I was already in there. It hasn't updated since, unfortunately. Damn it. <clears throat> So, while we're waiting, I'm going to be searching for another outbreak system, and I'm going to see if I can get one that's high pop. Inde oh, look at that. Independent outbreak at 24.7 million. And it's just a jump away. That looks a little bit uh, more appealing. Nothing new has popped up on, on this yet, and we can't honk again like we did last summer. I wonder if I can do it from here, though. No, nothing new. Okay. Right, let's let's make this jump, because this one might be a bit more favourable to us. <clears throat> do you know I should have... <laughs> I should have that mincemeat grind thing at the bottom of the screen, like, the whole time. Uh, Meta Parcel, hello, senor. Hola, buenos dias, and all that. Como estas? <laughs> oh, I did, uh, I did 15 minutes today on the treadmill. Five minutes longer than yesterday. That could have gone a bit longer, but my heart was getting a bit too loud. But yeah, 15 minutes on the treadmill was good. I need to get a new key though. You know the you know the stop key? It's got a clip on one end and then you know you pull the stop key off and it automatically stops the thing. Because <clears throat> we broke the clip, um, the clip part of it, the springy clip part. 
We broke that when we were bringing it into the house, so I need to get another one. And you can get them, they're like six quid or something, so not a problem. Um, but yes, yeah, so I did 15 minutes, and according to the thing, according to the display on the thing, it's, I have, uh, I think it was 14 calories. <laughs> so that means I can have a mouthful of sausage roll, but that mouthful is the size of like what a goldfish would have. Yeah, it did seem longer, but I was actually shopping on Amazon at the time for the, the for a replacement stop key for the treadmill. And uh, yeah, it was like, <clears throat> I had a look around and I thought, oh, it can't be more than a couple of quid. And uh, £6.59, it's not a big deal. It's just, it's basically just a red round magnet with a cord on it and a clip on the other side. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, but it was okay. It was better than yesterday. And uh, I did the, it does a countdown. I, I think the thing with treadmills is that they're, 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 they're bastards, right? Because you start them up, like this one, you press start and it goes, it goes beep, beep, beep. And it counts down three, two, one, much like here before you do hyperdrive, right? And then it starts up and then you start increasing the speed to what you want. I, I'm at one point. Seven. I was at 1.5 yesterday. I went to 1.7 today, and uh, and yeah, that. But then at the end, when I want to stop, there is a pause stop key. Now I don't think there is. A, I don't think it does. The pause does stop it, but there's no difference between a pause and a stop on this thing. It's just it's the same. It's the same function, right? And uh, I. Th I don't know where I got this idea that pressing stop on a treadmill would begin to slow it down before it stopped. But it doesn't! It just freaking stopped. It nearly took me off. It was just, it, it was going and then it just stopped, like full stop. And I went backwards and I thought, whoa! And uh, it nearly threw me off. I thought, you, you, what, you don't slow down? Honestly. Uh, but yeah, no. Guys, did I? Did I? I did scan the nav beacon. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, frozen screen, are you kidding? No, it's okay here, man. Try a F5. Or what, if you want a, if you want a PC or a laptop. Yeah, do a refresh. It's not frozen here, man. If anybody else is getting it frozen, let me know. But according to this, my stream's on the go. Ah, there we go. So we've got encoded, degraded, encoded. You're not gonna give me one, are you? I know the high grades can be a bit further out. But oh, come on, man. <gasps> oh, you twat. Always the same, innit? 7,000 light seconds and six minutes remaining. <clears throat> we have to go for it, though. Um, yeah, so it just it just came to a direct stop. I, I'll remember that for next time. <laughs> I want to put one of the stray cats on it and see if they'll walk. But they won't. Cats are cats, man. They're, they're not like dogs. Dogs dogs will do it. Dogs will walk on a treadmill, but cats won't. Oh, you know what I love, guys, is those... <clears throat> I'm sure you've seen them. The videos of the dogs with a tennis ball. And they've got one of those ball thrower machines. And the dog runs up to the machine and puts the ball in itself stands back and he's, it's prancing around dancing like waiting for the thing to pop and it throws the ball and they go fetch it and they come back and the dog puts the ball back in the machine so it can go again you seen that oh it's just it's just wonderful it's wonderful man dogs are just the best like they, they figured out the game they figured out the device and they just they play on their own awesome Ha, ha, ha. 
<clears throat> All right, will we get there? We will, but I do not want to be doing any uh, loops of shame or any such thing. We're gonna get one. We're gonna get one crack at this. It's probably gonna be composite core dynamics or uh, what's the other thing? Proto. <clears throat> heat or proto-radiolics. Who knows? If it's farmers, good. Because then we know we can just stay here waiting for these high grades to pop into existence. Four minutes. It, we will get there. We will. Maybe slow down at 008, Rusty? Hold on, Meta. I'll read your message in a minute. I ain't gonna miss this. Once we're in, we're in. Okay, we're into cruising speed now, so... I have a cat and dog that just get, can't get close to my cat. Yeah, cats cats don't have any... like, loyalty, stuff like that. They're just... they're it's so independent. They're very different to dogs in that respect. Very different. I mean, you, you'll have cats that will come up and cozy up to you and sit on your lap and, you know, they want, they want to be uh, pampered and stuff. <clears throat> but dogs are on a different level, though. Right, so, this meets all requirements. It's independent, it's outbreak, it's high grade. But, unfortunately, other stuff, other materials, do also meet those requirements. Like, there are other materials with these same parameters, outbreak, high grade, blah blah blah, that can also exist here. Like military supercapacitors, for, a, for example. Oh, but... Oh, we haven't got any of these. Guys! If we get a load of these, can we trade? Can we trade these down for military, uh, for pharmaceuticals? And if so, the trade is one to nine, is it? Or one to six? That would be a lot, wouldn't it? We'd need 120 of these buggers. Is the bin even that full? Uh, cargo scoop, come on. Hello. I'm pressing the key. Cargo scoop key not working. Rotational correction disabled. Rotational correction enabled. What's going on? Oh. Kind of helps if you enable the cargo hatch, right? Yep. So I'm told. This ship is still outfitted for exploration. That's what it is. Hey, Zonta! Yeah, dogs do care, don't they? They're very, they're very clever as well. Very clever animals. They, they know if something's up. They know they can detect your mood. Right. Don't really need night vision for this, do we? We've got the uh, image on the on the little blue display there. If we keep picking these up, though, are these not down tradable or side tradable? Side, yeah, side tradable. They're not going to be down tradable because these are grade fives as well. I wonder. Now that we've got them, I wonder if. Um, I wonder if it'll tell me on Odyssey Material Helper about trading. No complete trades can be made, no. But on the shelves, uh, let's see, commodities. So these are manufactured materials. 
Um, I have to go to a material trader. You can trade six to one with these. Um, oh, what happened there? <laughs> Nightbot zapped Zonto. Stop posting links warning. Oh. <laughs> don't worry, Nightbot won't do anything, I don't think. Uh, okay. Any others here? Still or still here? This is where you would like to have this list in alphabetical or just to be able to filter USSs. So by now we should have a new uh, thing. So let's let's get out into Super Cruise. Ah, a character. Aye. Uh, oh, you, okay, a dot maybe, yeah. All right. Well, sorry you, you got zapped. Maybe after a full, if you're going to do a full stop, put a space afterwards because it might think it's a link or something. I don't know. I don't know how Nightbot differentiates, to be honest. Right. We don't want to go to the arthritis sector. Yeah, got a bit uh, fizzy on the old left arm here. A bit achy, like I've been uh, like I've been lying on it, you know. And it's a little bit, uh, yeah, it's got this that feeling. But it comes and it goes and it goes and it comes. Okay, so we have some new ones, guys. So let's scout them this way and see what happens. These uh, high grades are very few and far between and the thing is, what makes it worse is if we eventually find another one or let's say when we eventually find another one who's to say it's just not going to be uh, military supercapacitors again. I mean, we picked up five just now, so five threes are 15. So we have 15 of those. Uh, we don't have enough to do three. We've got enough to do two. So we can side trade for two pharmaceutical isolators. So in a way, we're a tenth of the way there, or a fifth of the way there, if you're just going to do one ship. Mm. That's it. That's all that's here. It'd be nice if we had two systems that were in the same outbreak state that were next to each other. Oh, it tells you the state. Yeah, you. I know, you're talking about the state on the specific high grade, right? But, I mean, they don't, they don't mention that here. They just say that the system has to be in that state. They're not really mentioning that the high grade has to be in that state. So, because they haven't specified that exactly, I'm just going to have to... Yeah. It says systems with a state of outbreak. Oh, wait a minute, though. You could, you could translate that a different way around. Yeah, you're right, you know. You could. You could translate this a different way. High, the, so the phrase is high grade emissions in independent or alliance systems with a state of outbreak. That sentence could also mean that you could be in any independent or alliance system, but that the high grade emission has to be in a state of outbreak. You could interpret it that way if you have commas in the sentence. High-grade emissions in 
independent of alliance systems, with a state of outbreak. No, I've said that wrong. High grade emissions, comma, in independent or alliance systems, comma, with a state of outbreak. So if you remove the part in between the commas, you end up with high grade emissions in with a state of outbreak. But it, like if you were going to go to an independent or alliance system that was in boom, for example, what's the likelihood of finding a high grade emission in a state of outbreak? One of the, surely one of the factions has to be right. Or would it be a case that if one or more of the factions in the system are in also in the state of outbreak, that um, that that would be more conducive to finding one? Right. So these are outbreak. These guys. These are not. This is war. War. So we'd have to find a controlling faction high-grade emission then. Basically. Or at least, if we go to a system where it's outbreak and there's more than one faction that has an outbreak state, would that not increase our chances? Yes, Simon, though you can get different high grades in the same system, yeah. I've been finding lots of pharmaceutical isolators in an independent 2 billion population, medium security, with one of the factors in expansion. You don't happen to know the name of the system, right? Uh, and was it long ago? Because that would be changed now. With one of the factions in it. Ah, one of the factions in expansion. Well, we didn't have any of that here. And the problem is, right, that you have very limited choice here on outbreak systems. As you can see, there's not very many. Like this one is... Nothing. 19,000 population, but it doesn't mean necessarily that it won't yield any results. Um, I really wish, I've always wished this, that the real map, you know, the realistic map, would also obey the filters. Because the stars on the realistic map just look so much more stand out. They're, they're a lot more visible. Does um does Inara have a <clears throat> a thing where you can it'll tell you, you know, roughly up to date that the system or all the systems that are in outbreak? Yeah, that's in uh, that's in a zero state right now. Also, I don't have a system map for it. You can't. I can't buy any information, and it's two hundred and forty-seven light years away. The USS is in high grades. We're in expansion, right? So okay, so we go to outbreak, and we high, preferably high pop if we can find one, and go to um, go to the expansion ones. I, I, to be honest, I'll try any. So we've got 50 million there. And not much there. 50 million is more than what we got where we are now. Purple isn't the easiest color to spot here. Um, oh, hello, we've got a few here. Low pop. Super low pop. 
3.3 million. Damn and blast you. Did we do this one? Yeah, we did. And I'm guessing that, well, I don't know, Santa, were you looking at, uh, were you specifically looking at um, independent or alliance or did it not really matter? Because it sounds like it's a very narrow set of circumstances that we need. Like it has to be outbreak. It has to be high pop. It has to have expansion or one of the things and stuff like that. It's very, very specific. But if you find a system that nails all of those parameters, well, okay, so what I'm going to do just to save a bit of time here go to population range and I'm going to bring that kind of halfway up that's going to remove a lot of these purple dots unfortunately but if there are any here now well achy left hand uh, well they're going to be uh, high population so Don't want to zoom out too much. I don't want to lose the ability to see these dots. Maybe we went up a little bit too far on the population slider. But if it's in billions, if we find one in billions, we should be okay. That should still show up. Um... Right, so here we have, I have to screenshot this, I think. So that, that. So what I want to get rid of is the goidy stuff and the counter-strike systems. I want to get rid of the engineers. There we go. All right, there we go, just to declutter so I can see things a little bit more clear. Ooh, that wasn't a big, that was a tiny little dot, guys. It was like a pixel, but I spotted it. But the population's not very high there. Oops, I keep thinking that's the population one. So we can stretch a little bit higher. That one, oh, that one's even gone now, okay. The chance of us finding one is, well, remote. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, Zonta. I am, I'm choosing that one. Yeah, this one's 50 million. I think it's worth a shot, right? I mean, we've really decluttered everything now and changed the parameters so that only super high pops are going to come in. I would say into the very high hundred hundred millions. But it looks, oh, nope. <laughs> when you're doing this, guys, when you're doing this little function here on the galaxy map, the one thing you do not want to have is dust on your monitor. Because a speck of dust can make you think, oh, there's a system. That's that same one. Oh, Jesus, we got one. 5.1 billion. And it's a jump away, isn't it? Did it say next jump? No, two jumps, okay. I thought... All right, two jumps, let's go. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Before we go, we have some new here. We might as well. LHS LHS 1541 was that one? Okay, we have another one here, guys. Any more? Oh, I'm too far away from the nav beacon to
pop in, so we'll just quickly get these done. We've got 31 minutes on that other one, so that is per enti of time. Unless it's a billion light years away, of course. Light seconds, I should say. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. My brain just came up with something really stupid there. Um, yes, Timmy. Once, you, once you've done your arithmetic homework, then you can get in the eagle and go out fighting people in, in uh, res zones. I know that doesn't make sense, but trust me, I'm, I do have a punchline for it. Yeah, so it's, yes, Timmy, when you've done your arithmetic homework, you can go out and uh, get in your eagle and go, go to the hazardous res and fight people. That would be combat aftermath. <laughs> sorry, I know. I'm I'm so sorry. Combat aftermath. Listen, it's not my fault. Okay. Well, it is, but yeah, forgive me. It's the way my brain works. Uh, right, that's it. So we we have one. Uh, 1547, thank you, sir. Right, let's go and see this one. Might be more military super capacitors. If it is, eh, it's not the end of the day, but... It's not the end of the world, I mean. <laughs> it's not the end of the day. Oh, in a state of war? All right, well, we'll go there anyway and pick it up. But yeah, but I see what you mean, Simondo. You're probably going to be right on this one. One, five, four, seven it is. Yeah, you're quite right. <clears throat> but military supercapacitors can be side-traded anyway, so if we pick up another five in here, then we'll have... 30 of them and that gives us five pharmaceutical isolators on a side trade right so that means really we only need to find 15 of the buggers instead of 20 <clears throat> and if and if you think of it even more in a positive way if i find two more high grades with with five military sewer capacitors inside let's go for five and we pick up two more then i'll have 60 of them yeah, I'll have 60 of them, and that will be enough to side trade the required amount to do one ship up to grade five. And it lets, I'm going to be honest, guys, if I only have enough to do one ship, I am going to prioritize the Python over the, co over the uh, Cobra. I will be prioritizing the Python. So it's, it's the second 10 of pharmaceuticals. I know we went out 5,000 light years to unlock Palin to do, to do the dirty drives for the Cobra. But since we've come back, yeah, we got a little bit more money and um, we can grab a Python. And the reason I want to grab a Python, as I said, is because the ships in between uh, the Diamondback or the Cobra and the Python, they're all kind of combat built purpose ships or passenger ships and I really want a good multi-purpose ship that's capable and yeah the Cobra is a decent multi-purpose ship but it's very small very budget I've kind of outgrown it already and the Python just fits that that multi-purpose role perfectly as you guys well know uh, Python and Anaconda probably the well is it even a, is it even a debate that they are the two best multi-purpose ships in the game <clears throat> the, I mean and the Python just has the added advantage that it's a little bit smaller it, so yeah you, it, there's a trade isn't there between the Python and the Anaconda the Anaconda's got more slots so you can fit more in so you can have it's got more hard points so it, it it's a kind of a bigger brother of the Python in that it can do everything the Python does but bigger Bigger and better. Military grade alloys. 
Now look at those, we've got 27 of these guys. So can we side trade these two? Um, yeah, so the, the Python can land on platforms and and uh, on, on uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, smaller, smaller parking spaces on bad terrain on planet surfaces, but that's not a big issue really. And uh, and the anaconda just does. It's got more hard points, more space inside. Yeah, but I am not even. I'm not going anywhere near anaconda at the moment on this account. No, 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 no. I'm. I'm I really want to spend a lot of time with my little python. <clears throat> So it'd be nice to have a good build on it where we can have, you know, it's, it's capable of looking after itself in a fight, but it's also good for, you know, say trading or scanning things, just mission work, basically. Um, yeah. So, Kathina, if you are around... <laughs> Please. I don't mind trying to spec a build myself. I think I can do it, but she's better than I am. Okay. Uh, well, we got those, so let's go. <laughs> yeah, Python's got some decent hard points as well. Rumbling Thunder. Maybe it doesn't didn't like the eclipse. Core dynamics and imperial shielding. I think we've got imperial shielding. I'm not sure about, but core dynamics. I think we may have picked up a few. Not actually sure. Ouch. Well, stop picking at it, Rusty, then it won't hurt. Right, so this is a Federation system. But, yeah, let's see. Maybe we can rewrite the rule book. If, if I find... Uh, farmers in a in a different place than what say Odyssey material helper is saying I I'll try and contact the people I think they have a discord I'll contact the people who do ED Odyssey material helper and see if they're willing to update their description on how to get them if I find a better way because that way uh, you know I can be I can be helpful if we can find a different way yeah so that would be good okay so here we are Let's nip over to the bit uh, to the bacon. See if we get lucky here, guys. Let's see. Oh, I'll do, I'll quickly pop a D scan in before. Just for no particular reason, because we're going in here anyway. Yeah. So with all the USSs don't show up unless you're in super cruise. <clears throat> so you, I don't think you see them here in normal space. Okay, we're done. Let's go. Yeah, look at the look at the picture of the nav beacon there. Doesn't it look like um, I don't know? Is it is it um, Sputnik that was launched uh, that had all those spiky bits coming out? Was that Sputnik? I don't know why I think it is that, but anyway. Right. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Okay. Well, let's have a look and see what we got. If we got anything at all. Violent parrot. 
Oh, Violet Parrot. Jeez. Okay. That's the first one. Oops. All right, Civil War. That doesn't bode very well. So what we're going to do... It's got nine minutes. We're going to head towards it. Let's get out of the jet cone. There's another one there, guys. Let's check it out. I was going to just say that. Let's... Yeah, Civil War. I was going to mention about heading towards one of them. Like this, full whack speed. While we're looking down here at others. So I want to check all the other ones out. So that's... Oops. Yeah, that's Civil War. This one also. But they're all Civil War, which is... What can you do, man? What can you do? Civil War, look at that, 82,000 light seconds away. Expansion, do we hit it? 10 minutes, can we do it? Oh, guys, do we do it? Can we get there in 10 minutes? Right, basically that countdown has got to go underneath the time remaining. Mr. Budman, 07. Let's see if we can get there here in 10 minutes, guys. It's going to be a close shave, but there you go. Serious special forces. Yeah. We're coming for you, and we're deadly serious. So, if it is here, I mean, maybe this is definitely it, because this is why they they put the expansion ones the furthest away. Jeez. And if this is true to space travel, then we need to pinpoint the exact centre of that reticle and not be, like, travelling, like, a bit off it like this, because that's going to reduce our t or increase our time to get there <clears throat> yeah night yeah 94,000 light seconds but the time remaining is now down to 19 minutes and time remaining at the top for it to exist is nine minutes so as long as that time underneath dips quite a distance under the nine minutes that we have we're good because we have to account for uh, deceleration time as well which is going to make that clock slow down on the reticle I think we do this in nine minutes I think it's doable it's just going to be pushy because we are increasing speed all the time here we're not slowing down yet or wouldn't it be horrible if it just popped with like a couple of seconds to go <clears throat> <clears throat> At the moment, though, Zontau, we are still accelerating. And, I, and if if I deselect it, yes, you will get there quicker. You will not decelerate. But then I just have this fear that I'm going to have to de decelerate manually <clears throat> more dramatically, and it's going to cost me more time. But yeah, you're right, though, it does. Right, so as you can see, the time remaining now has dipped well under five minutes now, where we've got eight minutes up at the top. But, as I said, we have to count for deceleration, which is going to slow that clock down to a point where it could be the seconds ticking down on that reticle clock could be longer than an actual second. We are still accelerating, however. So let's see at what point the deceleration is. <laughs> I hate this. I hate anything with timers, man. You know me in games. I just 
Like if you have to defuse a bomb or something in a game and there's like a 10 second timer. I hate timers. I hate going up against the clock in games. Like, or, you know, like we did in the other day with Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. You know, oh, such and such with the, with the radar dish. You've got to get to that building within three minutes or whatever it was. You've got to get to that building. And then there's like a, a three minute counter comes up. And it, oh, it's too much stress, man. Right, two minutes on the clock. 6.45 on the emission clock. Oh. We are now decelerating. So yeah, for a few minutes, let's just deselect. There we go. But we're still decelerating though. So let's get back onto it. Right, so it was 10 minutes when we started. It was 90 something away, right? Now it's less than half that distance away. And it's still only six minutes. So yes, I'm thinking that we're making it. Rescue missions with a Python? Yeah. Again, it's, it's good for that as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to use it for trading initially and then, you know, to work on my tr trading um, rank because it would be nice to get that up a little a little bit. The mercenary rank hasn't been touched yet because we haven't really done any fighting on the ground as such. We've done no ground, ground-based missions. Totality in Mexico. In Mexico? Yeah. A total eclipse of the fajita. Maybe? No. Total eclipse. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, it must be nice to see a total one. It's like it goes to night time for a little while. Get a quick nap. A siesta. Hey, we have a siesta in the eclipse. Oh, sorry. Was that... <laughs> is that uh, politically incorrect now to do that? <laughs> Ah, uh, PC can screw off. Humor's humor. Planet X. <laughs> yeah, NASA, I bet they'll be doing a decent job of that. Yeah, I'll catch it on the... Uh, I'll catch it on the uh, YouTube -y a bit later. Gone to Texas? From from where, Simondo? Is it a long trip? All right, let's get this. Four minutes remaining, guys, so we've done well. Hey, Commander Selim. Nah, still, still the same, mate. I don't think anything's going to change much for me. Uh, it won't change better. But it might change worse. But so far it's been a flat line. Which I hope it doesn't. California, that's quite a trip then. That's quite a trip. California to Texas, right? Wow. Mind you on the plane. Hey, we should do that in flight sim. California to Texas. Austin. Yeah, if you give me the two airports, we can... Uh, if you give me the departure and arrival airport, we can duplicate the flight in... Um, oh, and the airline, whether it was like Delta or American or whatever, and then we can duplicate it in flight sim. That would be cool. California to... How, oh, but how long does it take, though? How long is a flight like that? Hmm. Ah! Ah! Zonta! You, yeah, yeah, okay, we only got three of them, but that's nine, and we can trade five, and we've got military super, th no, the other things that we can do as well. Oh, it's a shame, and it's a shame also that Frontier doesn't give us um, the ability to come out and log back into these things again. And there's not enough time on the clock, right? Can you come out the game and do it? 
You can, can't you? Is there enough time for another run? I'm gonna have to be shit quick, guys, if I wanna do this. We had four minutes. Oh, it's gonna be tight, 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 super tight. Oh, why are you dipping down, Rusty? Reverse, reverse, reverse. That pulls the nose down a bit more, I think. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If we quit the game... Quit to desktop. Come on! Don't you dare give me a black screen. Right, press play. Okay, we press play, guys. San Francisco to Dallas, 3.5 hours. That's an interesting one, isn't it? Only three because I'm a beginner. You cheeky bugger. Yes, that's right, Martin. Once you're inside, you're good to go. But we need to maybe grab three more or four if we're lucky. Oh, come on. Why are you taking so long? Hey, why you take so long, eh? It's okay. We've got a black screen. And we've got the intro. And we press escape. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is going to be tight, man. Mm, that's what he said. Come on. The Frontier servers are... Cannot, or cannot connect to Frontier servers. Come on. Oh, this is just going to be ridiculous. What's going to be left? 40 seconds? Yes, it's still there. It's still there. Okay, 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 come on, come on, come on. Don't you dare pop. Don't you freaking dare. Oh. Oh, 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 we got it. I didn't even see how much time there was on there. Because I, I didn't resolve. It didn't even have a chance to resolve because we were just able to jump in. Look at that, 15 of the buggers. Three, oh, brother. That's it. We've got all we need. And we are an hour into the stream, but we did have to find the right place. Oh, my goodness. So that's three on the first one, five on this one, right? So that's eight. Multiply that by three each. That's 24. We only needed 20. So we don't even have to side trade the stuff that we found last time. Oh, we're done, guys. <laughs> uh, obviously, this this uh, this isn't going to be there anymore. But imagine if this uh, USS had been 31 minutes, I would definitely have farmed it on and off. I would definitely have done that. Uh, and just filled my boots with as many farms as possible um, and just just got as many as I could really in, in the time. Just a shame we only had six minutes. If there are any more high grades that are here um, that are in expansion state and there's time on them, I w to be honest, I wouldn't mind picking up some more because if we ever do drag drive G5 again, um, sorry, Dirty Drive uh, G5 again. Uh, we're good to go on them. It's it it's the one because the other the other materials. Let's face it, they're easier to get hold of because you've got Dabs Hope and you've got you know the Material Trader as well, which can help because it's not G5 stuff. So you don't have to worry too much about trading. G5s are the worst because. If you want a decent trade, not that you can get one, a G5, uh, with a G5 material, but if you want a decent trade on those, you have to side trade to get six to one. Uh, what is it from going from grade four to grade five on the same shelf? Is that is that still six to one? It is, isn't it, right? Oh, guys. Awesome. Done. So how big is the grind? Well, it's basically down to... Finding the right system and finding the right high grade, isn't it? 
and then if you have one that has a good amount of time on it remaining you you can farm a good amount in that time improvised components i don't know let's see what i have of those yeah we haven't found any of those yet <sighs> jeez guys i thought it was going to be a bit more of a a thing you know to find these i thought maybe the it is grindy but once it's just a case like in in a lot of, there's a few scenarios in elite where it's like this where once you find the sweet spot of something it's like the other thing with the famine right you go to the famine system if you want data mind work exceptions you go to the famine systems you find a distribution center uh, then they don't all have them but if you find a distribution center in a particular famine system again high population i would guess then you're good to go. You can sit there and farm, go in, inside the distribution centers, and you can farm the, the high wakes all freaking day. You know what I mean? And it's, it's easy from that point. And this is the same with this. If you find the outbreak system that's got high pop, you, and you find an, uh, a high grade with expansion, it seems to be the way that it works, because obviously if you find one that's in civil war, you're going to get something different. If you find one in war, you might get something different again. So different states of high grades produce different presence inside. But yeah, if you if you meet, if you tick all the boxes and you find that high grade and it's got 30 minutes or 25 minutes on it, you know, I'm telling you, you, you can fill, fill your pockets. Hmm. Yeah, those distribution centers, Zontar, they are the best way for, for data mind wakes. They are the best, best, quickest way. For sure, by a mile. Yep. So, I am willing to do another FSS sweep here. And see if we can pick up some more. We are good here, though. We're done. Because, look. <laughs> Complete. And that, what you're seeing here, all greens, that's for two. That's to do two ships. That's to do the Cobra and the Python, both. So yeah, we can do both. However, if we just do one, then, well, we'll have a, if we do one, we'll take that out, take that out. Well, then we'll have a lot more materials available like the security firmware patch we could do with a few more of those everything else you can see we put pretty good on for materials the only the only letdown here is the firmware patches we could do with a few more pharmaceuticals a couple of more configurable components maybe but I, I, this is this is dab's hope for these as well so that's not a big issue uh, chromium, phew, raw material trader, grade two, piece of cake. Um, yeah, so if we were to get more security firmware patches, which is like hacking megaship terminals and mission rewards even, or settlement data points, it doesn't specifically say Dab's Hope, but if I had, I either got these three from Dab's Hope or I got them from the Jameson crash site one of those so uh no martin you have to leave the game quit the game completely uh st you you can keep the client open but quit the game and then click play on the client again and you're good to go so guys what do we know well we know that we picked those out from a a federation system, right? We're, in a, we're not in an independent or alliance system, as uh, Odyssey Material Helper suggested. This is a federation system, right? It's high pop. It is in the outbreak state. Um, and we know that the high grade we picked up on was expansion. But did it belong... Does it tell you when you pick up on the high... 
high grades or they're degraded and they're encoded, does it tell you whether it's from a different faction, like it's independent or alliance? I'm just trying to work out if there are any factions in this system that, yeah, you see, you've got one, two, three independent ones. I'm going to have to look on the on the uh, live stream, guys, and see if see what the uh, thing told me. Let me have a look. I'm just going to have a look on the live stream and see if I can find the bit where we were heading towards that USS for six minutes and see if it tells me any information. Okay, so the faction for that high grade that we picked up on was Sirius Special Forces. And that is Federation. So even the high grade didn't have to be independent. Well, well, well. So Inara, in that case, was more accurate. Just going to a system state that was outbreak. It didn't specify alliance or independent, like Material Helper does. It didn't specify that. And clearly, it does not have to be independent or alliance at all. Federation system, Federation high-grade emission in a state of expansion. That's it. All right. Question now is, is there another one? Well... Let's find out. So there you go. And these are elusive buggers. But I think like a lot of things in Elite, if you... That's Civil War, right? So we won't bother with that one. Um, if you know exactly all the boxes to tick to get the thing you want, and you find that item, that in, in our case, that high grade emission, that's expansion, then it's gonna be there, isn't it? Wow, look at all these guys, Jesus. We've got a shed load of them. That's Civil War again, so that's gonna contain something else. We suspect, right? I wouldn't mind going to a Civil War one, to be honest, if we can. If there's no expansion ones, I don't mind visiting the Civil War one just to see what's in there. Because the last time we went, it was... Um, it was... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a, a war. It was in a war state, wasn't it? There's another one, Civil War. So, yeah, the expansion ones, man, they're a little bit... There's lots of high grades around here. Look at this thing turning and swiveling around here. Another civil war. Plenty of civil wars. The expansion ones. Another civil war. Jeez. If there was pharmaceuticals in those, man, it's Santa's grotto, isn't it, basically? We would have just been... We would have just been able to fill our boots up completely. Come on, talk to me. Uh, two seconds left on that one. <laughs> That's gone already. That was in expansion, but it was a distress call. Freaking typical, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I'm going to be trying the Civil Wars, yeah. There's plenty of them here. There's tons of high-grade Civil Wars here. So, yeah. Between us guys, we get all the research done, and then anybody watching the stream later um, can... Hopefully it'll help. It'll help other people who might be looking for these. Yeah. Who knows? There might be somebody watching or on or rewatching now and is trying to get pharmaceutical isolators and not having any luck. And maybe we can we can help out and that's the name of the game, isn't it? Cause you guys helped me out here. It was Zontar that told me yeah, expansion. And uh, sure enough. Hit it. We hit the bullseye, man. 
There are freaking high grades all over the place. But everyone we've come across has been civil war. All of them. It just shows you how rare the one that we got was, the expansion one. I mean, maybe if... Does that mean that one of the sub-factions here is, or maybe more than one of the sub-factions here, is in a state of civil war? See, that's... All the distress calls are in expansion. Not fair. Look! Cheeky buggers. Yeah, so Frontier have got this thing down to where the state of the system plus the state of the particular emission, because it might, whatever you're going for, you may have to jump into high grade or encoded, or if you want some junk stuff, decoded. Actually, decoded has got beacons as well, right? Or is that encoded? It's got the private data beacons, I can't remember. But yeah, and they've got to be in a specific state as well. Um, so yeah, specific materials have to be in specific system states with USSs also in specific states. So you get a high grade in a war state, you get one thing, you get it in a civil war state, you might get something else. Oh, so this is how the game works. And if you've got your little spreadsheet which tells you which materials you get in which states, then that's quite a nice little uh, Bible of information, so to speak. So, yeah. So, and, and I, uh, I like the way this system works. That frontier have done that you know that's if if you want a specific material you have to find a system with a specific state and uh, then a, a uss in a specific state as well and different states give you different items there you go i like that i like that i like that idea yeah we can make this one very easily in fact, we can do a couple of runs inside this one, guys, because it's only 25, uh, 24,000. The other one was 97. And on the 97 light seconds away, we had 10 minutes. Now we've got 13 minutes on this one, so we'll get a couple of runs in on this. <clears throat> I like I liked that system. I know they've been doing it in Elite like this for a long, long time now, and I like it. Because... It's, it's scripted to a point where, you know, you know that if you go to that place, in that, sis, in that state, in this USS, in this state, that's what you're going to find. There's no ambiguity there. It's, it's not like a random thing. That's what's going to be in that specific thing. So, if that is true, then there should be pharmaceuticals in this. Right? But, or... Is it sharing with something else? Is there another material that is that can also exist with these same uh, parameters that can e exist in an expansion high grade in an outbreak system? Is there another one? It's possible. It might not be exclusive to pharmaceutical isolators. Let's see. Let's see what we get here, guys. This one, I think we're going to get a few runs on this it's going to depend how quick the game can restart and how quick i can scoop i'll do my best but we're going to be able to jump in here with maybe 10 minutes remaining it won't take me long to do a scoop if i can scoop and get the hell out within a minute give another minute for the game to restart it might take a bit longer than that we might get three or four runs in here and then before and before you know it we've got a lot of isolators I picked 24 up on that last run, so I could get over 50 here, and it's a grade 5, so what's the bin size on a grade 5? 100? Is it? 150 sometimes? It depends on the thing, doesn't it? And I think it's 100. So yeah, maybe the most we can jam in the ship is 100, and at this rate, if we spend a few hours in the game just doing this, 
then it seems like if we're finding expansion high grades, filling up that bin is going to be pretty freaking easy. Which I never imagined at the beginning. It's a hundred, yeah. Okay, are they here? Yeah, they are. So we've got four threes here, so we've got another twelve. Right, get the scoop open. Right, close the scoop because you're too far away. We need speed. Okay, back off. All right, let's go, let's get them. Ah. Okay, next one, I think. Right, that little tweet that you hear, that tweet sound, that's just Odyssey Material Helper making that sound to say that I've picked up something on my wish list. So there you go, guys. This is how you get them. So, if you don't know how to get them, it's going to be a, a lot more of a grind. A lot more. Oh God, you ever tried to preempt it there? But yeah, if you do know, it reduces the grind a lot, doesn't it? All right, let's get the client. I don't have the client on the screen. Right, keep the client on the screen. Do not minimize. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, good. Check above the... Yeah, we, we, we will check out the uh, other thing too, the Civil War ones. I'm going to check those out. I want to see what's in there. If you don't know in detail, check above the improvised components and the config components. Yeah, you can search for weeks. If you don't know the specific checkboxes that you have to tick, right? It, you, you can be searching for a while and then you might come across one, all right? You might, you might find a high grade in expansion in an outbreak system and you might come across one and you say, oh, pharmaceutical isolators. I've been three hours trying to find one and now I've got one, but you're not sure quite what, what you've done to find one. What, what is it? And I think once you find what you want, you have to just note down the system state, the US, the state of the USS, <laughs> everything. Oh. Okay. Right, so let's see if we can, I'm just gonna put no throttle on this because we're so close to it. And now that it's full, Okay, seven minutes. We're quite a distance away from the thing, eh? The other one we were able to jump in straight away. That's disappointing. We're only 40, 48 light seconds or, or 0.48 or something. I don't know. Anyway, about seven minutes. We're going to pick up quite a few of these guys. They're always going to be farmers here. So let's zoom in full speed, slow down. Maneuvering thrusters only, by the way, no no main thrusters here. And then we'll quickly scoop these. Oh my god, have we got five here? We can, at this rate, guys, there might be enough time here to fill the bin. I mean, I'm just saying, if we get a couple more fives, we could potentially fill fill the pharmaceutical isolator bin and there's no way I would have predicted that. No way. Not with these buggers. So not as elusive as we thought. You just gotta know where to look, right? Right, this is going to give us 51. Oh, I have to wait for that freaking beep. That's, going to, that's 51 we have now. Yeah, RNG Jesus. <laughs> oh, my little heart, man, come on. 
just survive for a few more days and maybe a week. Don't attack me. 51 pharmaceutical isolators, guys. Jeez. That, that's plenty enough now for me to do the python and the, co and the cobra. Definitely doing both. I'd like to have more security firmware patches, but what can you do? So obviously press escape as soon as you see the animation. So yeah, if you guys are short of pharmaceuticals, go get them now and come to this system. LHS one four, is it five four? Uh, yeah, LHS one five four seven. Go away, mouse. Okay, starting to press the X button to stop the ship immediately. Go straight in. Oh, you do a bugger. Okay, turn around quick. The moment the compass changes from a hollow circle to a full one, we can start accelerating just a little bit. And by the time we level up, we're here. Okay, so maneuvering thrusters only to get close. comes the cargo scoop which will slow us down a little and in we pop only three here but okay that gives us another nine that gives us 60 so we've got 40 more to get which means if we're lucky and we get two more with five in it that's the bin full unbelievable And all it took is two USSs. Insane, isn't it? I'm losing a few seconds here and there by not pressing the buttons quick enough and stuff like that, but... We're okay. So yeah, 60 pharmaceuticals right now we have. I'm, I think I'm going to change the title of this, of this live stream, guys, when we're done, because I want people to know um, that this stream is about getting pharmaceutical isolators, and since we've been successful, um, it would be good in case anyone wants to, you know, use the, use the keyword search and find pharmaceuticals that this video might show up and help them out. Even if it's not in this system, there might be another high pop system. But there's the question though, right? If we find a system that's in outbreak that isn't in the billions of population, but it's in the millions, it's the same scenario, surely. As long as we find a high grade in expansion, same result. But is it the case that there could be less... Uh, oh, why do I go to contacts? Because I'm an idiot. Is it that it could be the case that there may be less high grades popping up in a lower secu in a lower population system than in a higher one? I don't know. Two minutes. Okay. We don't have time to do one after this, unfortunately. And the fact that we're a distance away here is not helping. That's kind of random, isn't it? Yeah, less high grades due to less population, right? Yeah, so the higher the population you can get, the better. Okay, so we've got another 12 here. So we're going to end up with 72 uh, isolators. So I, I'm sure you can appreciate, guys, if we found another high grade like this one, with a, a decent whack of time on there, we we will fill the bin, right? We will, because we only need 28 more to fill the bin, and that is what let's call it. Let's call it 30. So we only need 10 more pharmaceutical isolators. So a three, a five, and a three, or uh, two fives. You know. Two groups of five. We've got five here, so. 
Yeah, we can easily fill the bin here. And because it takes a maximum of 10 of them to do a grade five dirty drive, I don't think it will be 10. I think you'll get away with eight. If, if, you're, if, you're, if you're grade five rep or ranked five rep with the engineer, you can probably do it in eight, maybe nine, I don't know. Let's say eight. Um, if you fill the bin, you've got enough to do 10, 10 ships worth. Yeah, two hours. That seems about seems about right, doesn't it? And there we go. This is going to give us 72. There's no way we have more time to go and uh, to get that one to, to do it again. So we'll jump out and we'll see if there's any uh, civil wars near us. That's it. We only needed 20, we got 72. Amazing. So is there any, I think we should do another, another honk here because all the previous ones, because we quit the game and went back in, are no longer here. So let's get a refresh. If there's another expansion, sure, I'll target it. Uh, but if there isn't an expansion one, we'll target a civil war and we'll see what's going on. Assuming, Assuming there are, are any high grades here in the first place, which we would hope. This one's buried. great deal of stuff here at the moment like on that last run we did we got a lot of high grades didn't we there must have been what about eight of them maybe and as soon as I found the expansion I I stopped there so there may have been more civil war 30 seconds no good to us three minutes unless it's really close but it is it is the case that the high grades tend to exist further out right the decodeds and the encodeds are maybe closer to the local star the high grades seem to exist a little bit further out for some reason well, not always the case but I think for the most part they do seem to be uh, in places where you, you know you've just got to travel to get there like 97,000 that we did would you go that far for a degraded no I wouldn't either because they're all over the freaking place again civil war 12 minutes actually you know what let's target that just in case we don't come across any expansions I'm just curious what's in civil war we got uh, military supercapacitors before I don't know what exact state that was and then we got military grade alloys right in the war system in the war system, in the war state of, the, in the USS war state, we got uh, military grade alloys, yeah. So let's see what we get in civil war. It might be, what the hell? It might be the same kind of stuff. Excuse me. 
Excuse frickin' me, what the hell do you think you're doing? Apart from being a freak. Okay, 16 minutes, that's better. Right, I think for this one we're gonna have to use the uh, stepped zoom, maybe. Bring the steps, oh Christ, on a cracker. Hey, Frontier, you balls this up. I think it's because we got too too close together. And if I use the step zoom, I can... Oh my god. Okay. If I step zoom in, does that... That doesn't help either. That's the best I can zoom inwards. I don't know what's going on with this one. I wonder if we can trace it a different way. So it's it's up there. Wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. What are you doing? Okay, we got that one. Oh, it will not let me get that bastard. Jeez. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that there aren't any. We'll just have a look on these. Okay, that's a good one guys. 38. We'll go there. Hopefully it's not too far away. All right, civil war. What do we have? Best guesses, Zonta. Civil war in an outbreak. Yeah, it'd be good to note these down. Outbreak, civil war, you get this. Outbreak, war, you get that. Outbreak, expansion, you get this. Maybe there's an outbreak famine as well in a different system. You get that. Very interesting to note down. I'm going to contact the people who do the Odyssey Material Helper and I'm going to just let them know how I found pharmaceutical isolators. So when, when it pops up on the dialogue and says where to find, maybe they can adjust it. Because I'll just say, you know, I found it in a Federation system. Uh, but the U the USS, the high-grade USS, has to be in expansion state. And if they update it on Materials Helper, and that works for people, cool. Military-grade alloys. Okay, well, I'm cool with that, because we don't have uh, too many of those. I'm probably going to loop of shame here. Thirty-nine. Not too bad. Seventy-two isolators. Wowza. And the thing is, it I, I it makes me want to fill up the ship with a hundred. Because this was the only system I found that had this kind of population into the billions, right? It was the only one. So while it's here. And while this outbreak state exists in this system, because that might tick over and change on Thursday, while, while it exists, we may as well see if we can fill the ship up. Yeah. Uh, Demos Music. Oh, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Did not take long at all. 
Oh, God, I thought I was in for a rough time of it today. I even pictured myself just giving up and thinking, screw it, we'll just stick to grade four, dirty drive. But, um, no, not, not by any chance of the imagination. And there we have it. Sometimes you can get mixed, can you? Um, not in this case. Right, so we've got 15 military-grade alloys here. So, maneuverings to get there. And let's pick them up. Add 15 more to this list. So we've got 39, plus 15, 44, no, 54, sorry. Oh, why are you on main thrusters, Rusty? Jesus frickin' flip. Yeah, great, yeah, great fours. Yeah, sometimes you can get a mixture of stuff in these things. I think probably more... It, it happens more in encodeds and stuff, right? Where you can get multiple different mats. Like, for example, you can also get them in high grades, where I've seen... It, it rarely happens, though. But where you, you get proto-radiolics and proto-heat or something like that. There's, there's three protos, isn't there? There's proto-heat radiators, proto-radiolics, and proto-something else. And you can get at least two of those in the same, I believe. Right, so we've got enough time, I think, to fill these up. Let's do another trip into here. So, mashing the X button. Didn't need to do that, did I? That was so stupid. That was a waste of time, because you're supposed to quit first. <laughs> what an idiot. Never mind. Brain's got to be engaged. To make the most efficient use of time. But I think we might even be able to if we keep getting them in fives, I don't know, military grade alloys, and even if we're not using those in a particular time, we'll have a full bin with which to side trade with as well. All the grade five stuff is good like this, isn't it? It's all good to pick up regardless. Yeah, I, I I don't think I've ever had too big of a problem getting hold of the protos. The other one is the um, CDCs, core dynamic components, those. Right, I think we're going to be a bit of a distance away here because I've done this jump twice. Right, so I'm pressing X, jumping straight to here, and tagging, and just no throttle until the circle fills up in blue. There it is. And now we just apply a little bit of throttle, just a little, just a little. How many do we get? Okay, four. All right, that'll do. So maneuvering thrusters to get there. And open the Scoopy-Doo. Pick them up. Yeah. Obviously, if you're new to the game, then you should know that for every material you pick up here, like this, one of these, you get three of them. So if there's four here, we're going to get 12, which is very nice. I see, I'm, oh, there's a button on the numpad which controls, I'm using my numpad, uh, two, four, six, and eight, to control my maneuvering thrusters, 
but it seems that eight, sorry, seven, if I press seven by accident, seven is putting my, my engine on. It may be putting it to 70% or something. Oh, that's no good. That's why the main engines were coming on. I wondered why, because... Yeah, that's how I refer to them. I know it's the same engine, but I refer to them as... as uh, main engines and maneuverings. Because, look, you can see the, the speed thing, right? I'm controlling it with my finger. Where the other one, which is the main one, it's like, it's more like this, right? It goes up and down to a specific. Right, so cargo scoop in and super cruise. No, no, stop doing that. You're wasting your time. You do that afterwards. The Imperial shielding. Sometimes you just get, if you can get them in combat as well, if you take on clippers and Imperial eagles and stuff like that, you, you can, they can drop the Imperial shieldings. Yeah, core dynamics. So there's there's going to be plenty of fed systems in Boom, isn't there, I think, with high pop. Yeah. Look at your precious chat. <laughs> precious. There may be another high-grade expansion now. Okay, so we jump in, immediately go to Super Cruise. The moment the countdown begins, press X to stop the ship. Mashing, mashing. The moment you do that, boom, here. I wonder what time is on this. Uh, right, up and up and up, up and up and up. Wait for the full circle. I think we're going to have to wait for it. Oh, we've got... 213 kilometers, so we're just going to wait, and now. There you go. Three fives, 15. Oh, main thrusters off, Rusty. Jesus, flipping, flipping, flip. Getting so close to the USS, it doesn't even have a chance to resolve and tell me what time's available, uh, what time is left on it. Can you believe it? We've got 72 of these now as well. Right, reverse and pitch up to get this one. Seventy-five, so twenty-five remaining for a full bin. Twenty-two remaining, and then there'll be what nineteen remaining. Well, if this says eighty-one, there will be. Okay, so we need 19 more. What What's the combination there? Another five plus another... Three fives, 15. Yeah. Hey, Andy, how are you doing, sir? Oh, previous. <laughs> Precious. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've, I've been reading it, Zonta. So you can get, are you saying you can get military grade alloys in an expansion as well? Because if that's the case, then we've been really lucky that we've only found farmers so far. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Sorry. 
Right, getting ready to boost. And jump. I want to see if we can find the time remaining on this one. Right, stop engines. Up here. Right, now we're only... Oh, we're really close here. We're really close. We might not get a chance to to see the time remaining. We are super close, guys. It's closing in too quickly. It's closing in too quickly. Come on. No. It resolved to high-grade emissions, but that was it. So it looks like we have another four or five here, maybe? Four? Okay. If the next one's a five, then we'll fall. We have a full, a full uh, bootload. And then we'll do the same for the farmers. Because again, we only need 28 pharmaceutical isolators to fill up on those. When you think, I hadn't even discovered them on this account before today. As far as I'm aware. Yeah, war and civil war gets us the military stuff, doesn't it? And the other one was what? Military super capacitors, wasn't it? Yeah. We have, we've got very little of those. We've got a few. All right, so one more, guys. One more. We've got, this will give us 93. So basically whatever's next. We've got 93. We only need seven. So whatever's next, we just do one more jump in. Doesn't matter if there's three there, four there, five there, doesn't matter. We will fill the bucket, for sure. And we have time. And then we'll just do the same for the farmers and uh, then we'll come back and I will hope that the showroom has got my new Python. And I'm going to buy it in the concourse because <laughs> I, I did tell them get my python ready and make it blue well i hopefully have enough arcs to buy a livery a blue one for the python i know the azure one is free and i think it's already good to go and it's a nice one but i think i want a, uh, a, a different blue one we'll see we'll see what there is <clears throat> but I already specified blue python, so we'll, we'll go for that. All right, so jumpy jumpy. Get the speed up quicker. Four, three, two, one, now this time I'm just going to let the ship run out just a tad. There we go, that's enough. I just want to get a little bit more distance away so that I can see the time remaining. It's not going to matter, but I'm just curious, George. Twenty-two minutes. Yeah, like it's, pfft. yeah. <clears throat> we are good to go here. Plenty of time. What was it? Thirty minutes. We've done this in ten minutes. That's, which goes back to what I was saying. If you find a high-grade emission like this, that's thirty minutes on it, with a state of expansion, and it's just pharmaceuticals. You can fill the bin in one go. I reckon with half an hour. Don't you think, guys? In half an hour, you could do it in one go. It would be enough time to just keep coming out the game and going back in and refilling until you've got... I don't know, maybe. I think so. We've got 20 minutes here still, which means it's taken us about 10, 12 minutes or something to do this. It'd be a piss if there's only one here, right? <laughs> but yeah, we need... What do we need to pick up? Three of these, right? We need to pick up three. So let's get this out. And there's definitely three here. There's four, in fact. We don't need the last one. So this will give us 96. So we stop at 99. <laughs> no. No, not even I'm going to do that. I want the full bin here. Grade five. Lovely. And finally, we're only going to be able to pick up one of these 
of the batch of three, but it doesn't matter. And here we go. How about that? Okay, so now, now we're going to make the jump into Super Cruise and see if there's any uh, Ready to engage. Three, two, expansions. Engage. Enough for all your 24 ships, is it? A hundred? Ah, uh, I don't know. Is it enough to do? If you if you estimate eight to nine rolls per ship, no, you're gonna need twice as many, surely. All right. So anyway, we got a load of new encodeds and uh, sorry, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I was right. What I was saying, Jesus. We got loads of new encodeds, degradeds, high grades, combat aftermaths, distress calls communications, wedding vows, funerals, so give me another high grade in expansion. We do not need any more civil wars. If we find one in a war state, which doesn't look likely here, um, we might be able to get the supercapacitors. I wonder what's in the encodeds in civil war. Encoded Civil War. Hmm. Encoded Civil War in Outbreak. So you have to go and find out, don't you? You have to jump into a system in every... Jump into a, a, a high-pop system that's in every possible state, like boom and famine, and then have a look at all the high grades, all the encodeds, all the decodeds, and then just write down in a spreadsheet everything that you find in each one. Oh my god, what a task that would be. Hmm. But what a wealth of information you'd have. The material bible. Civil War, unfortunately. 34 minutes on it. Oh god, if that was expansion. We would have been done. And done and dusted. Ah, uh, wasn't it over here? Where did you go? Okay, can we step zoom this? No, not at this level. Okay, we'll go here. Now I think the step zoom doesn't work until you're at least one level in. Come on, talk to me. Ah. Maybe we should wait until the civil war ends and we've got more chance of expansions. Oh, Talos Principle 2. Yeah, I got both of them already. Didn't finish number two, did I? I think, did we finish one? I don't remember. Good game. I'll have to. It would if I played it again. I would have to try and remember everything about it. It's it's, it's tough. It's a challenging one that, but good. The puzzles are very clever. Let's pull out straight to level one, the highest level. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can find them here better. Well, that's it. So we've got no high grades in expansion at all here. Hmm. So we do have high grades here that are in Civil Wars. It'd be nice if it told you here on this screen, wouldn't it? Yeah, they're all Civil Wars. And lovely that they're 32 minutes as well. If only... If only, guys, we had an expansion one with that kind of time on it. Oh, man. It'd be very interesting to see 
how many you could collect in say 25 minutes or something like that because obviously you've got the 30 minutes it's gonna take you five minutes to get there but yeah it'd be interesting 25 minutes on the clock how long in and out and then based on that you don't know how many you can pick up because it's it's a crapshoot isn't it on whether when you pop in whether there's three there four there or five there but I'm gonna hang around just a little while guys and just just until I wonder if quitting the game will bring up a new set let's do that um, yeah Talos principle 2 yeah uh, well, I don't know, Andy. Let me just check on uh, Steam. Maybe I'm confusing it with Portal 2. Hold on a sec. If Talos Principle is it, 2 is new and I don't have it, I would be interested in that for sure. Let me have a look on my Steam list. Mm. Ah, okay. Don't have it, but I have Talos Principle and Talos Principle VR. Okay. Let me have a look in the storeroom of Steam. Is it on CD keys? <laughs> Tell us Principle 2, 1499. When did this go? November. Overwhelmingly positive. Oh, I've got to have this, guys. So it's 40% off. I'm going to check CD keys. Ah, so yeah, I was. I was getting it confused with Portal there. Talos Principle 2. Oh, it's the same price on CD keys, actually. $14.99. A <laughs> set, of course, of £7.50. Um, hey, Freaky, how you doing, man? 72 gig? Oh, freak. I don't have that. And I would have to uninstall The Last of Us or something like that. And I haven't finished that game. Actually, yes, I do have that amount of space free on my Z drive. Oh, boy. Which game did I recently put on there that I can... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. So when that gets finished we'll remove that okay weekend deal offer ends the 11th of April okay I got three days I'll grab that guys maybe we'll stream it eh graphics look nice do these things have more than one solution because I don't want to play it Andy and then have it be a spoiler for you it looks the same kind of deal though. You've got the boxes and the and the beams and stuff. It just looks like more updated. Expands on the first game's philosophical themes and stunning environments with increasingly mind-bending challenges. Select the pack. Will it let me okay. Oh yeah, yeah, thirteen forty nine. But how is it gonna handle that? If I, if I already have the first one. I'm going to just add it to the cart here, guys. One second. View cart. It's weird because it, I already have the first one on my Steam, so... I don't know how it's going to handle that. All right, I'm grabbing it, guys. Hold on. It'll give the high grades a chance to re repopulate. Uh, okay. It removes the first game and applies 10% more. Okay. So there we go. Right, that's gone through. I think. No, I have to agree to their terms. Yeah. Which means if you play this game for more than two hours, we can come and take everything in your house. There you go. So the next, I've earned Steam points. 
Wow. Thank you for your purchase. Okay. Automobilista has a upgrade. Okay. So I ju yeah, there you go. Is it on my list? Yes, there it is. Awaiting install. Seventy four gig. All right, that won't take long on my on my nice new bandwidth. Oh, guys, I had to grab a couple of things off the net yesterday. There was two items. And that's as far as I'm going to go with the items. Uh, it was no, it was still thirteen forty nine, Andy. As far as I'm aware, they still the same. Um, there was two items I I needed to download off the internet. One was uh, s no, they were both around fifteen, sixteen gig. So it was a total of 30, and they were downloading both at the same time. Uh, so, f yeah, 30 gig in total, uh, which was going straight onto my NAS drive, and I can't, I can't play games off my NAS drive. It was done in under 10 minutes, and I'm just blown away by that, those, those speeds. Still gets me. 10 minutes, 30 gig. <laughs> Freaking hell. Awesome. Yeah, I'll have a look on my email and see what what PayPal took off and stuff and blah blah blah. Oh, I got woken up today with a phone call. Um, hold on. Yeah, thirteen forty nine is what was paid. Yep. Um, got a phone call. Um. And they said, hello, is that Mr. So-and-so? I said, yes. Um, oh, hi, I'm just calling from Porsche BMW. Huh? Right, I, I, I know I've been to a BMW dealer here with my car before. And I, I have a mechanic that sorts my car out and he does Porsche cars. He's not a dealer, he's a mechanic. He does Porsche cars and other German marks. My car is German, I take it to him. Right, this wasn't either of those two. This was somebody else. Just, hi, Porsche BMW. I, I, I don't know where that is. I don't know what, maybe it's in a, a bigger town near here. I don't know. And she just rings up, sweet as you like. Um, I'm just calling about your three series. Okay. Yes, um, apparently uh, you have an MOT coming up. Right, well, my MOT runs out tomorrow. But it's been, I did it already. It's, it passed a few days ago, right? And she said, oh, I'm just calling about your BMW. It's, it's coming up to the MOT. And I just wondered if you would be interested in, and it was to get me to book it in to them. Um, and I thought, no, I'm, I'm fine. It's, I said, no, it's done. Okay, thank you. Bye. What, why do they do this? Why, why do they call you with these things? Like, I'm a grown-up. I, I, I can manage, like, it's not like I'm going to say to her, Oh, MOT, I forgot all about it. No, I suppose there are people who do. I don't. Uh, I'm very on top of those things. But yeah, I get it. It can be helpful. Um, I don't know how much BMW would charge for an MOT. I don't know if it's any more, but... They know the things to look for, don't they? The specific, specific things. <laughs> but no, my car's in good shape, apart from it just has another... That thing's still there, look. Frickin' hell. It has a, a rattling underneath now, which I need to sort out very soon. Because it's not a good sound. You, you stick it in first gear and accelerate away hard and something it doesn't like it underneath something's making a, a juddering thuddering noise uh, yeah oh boy that one just popped out um yeah so that's not good that needs sorting hopefully it's just uh what they call the guibo or the flex joint or it's the central support bearing either of those not a big problem get that sorted 
um, and I just hope it's that. I really don't want it to be the diff bushes because, oh god, that's a job. So yeah, we'll, we'll hope. If it's any of the other two things, it's just a case of taking off the, the drive shaft, the prop shaft, taking that off and just putting a new one on, a new uh, bearing or a new flex joint and we're good to go. And they're not super expensive, even from BM BMW. They're not pricey, pricey. It's another thing I wish I didn't have to buy, but there you go. What can you do? And it's good in a way that once you fit these parts, you don't have to worry about them for freaking years. I'll probably never have to change it ever again. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, it's not one thing, eh? It's, if it's not one thing... My God. I can't complain, though, because the car's been good to me. You know, it hasn't given me too much crap at all. Just the usual things that go, you know, like fuel, fuel filter needed changing, the fuel pump went. But that the fuel pump's a piece of cake to change. It's like, I, I can do that while I'm eating a sandwich. It's Because it's, you don't have to get under the car, you don't have to get in the engine. It's under the back seat and you just tap it out, put another one in, tap it back in again. Done. But yeah, this one, this thuddering noise, oh jeez. It does not sound good. It sounds like the prop shaft is rattling like a bugger. It could be the centre support bearing. I know I'm probably boring you guys, but yeah. It could be the centre support bearing, which I'm fine if it's that. It's good. It's all good. Get a new one. Good to go. I think BMW have them for like... Oh, I don't know. I've seen the price in dollars. And it tends to be the case that it's the same price here, but in pounds. So if it's $70 marked on the on the website that lists all the BMW OEM prices, then you'll find it's, it's 70 pounds here. So I think it's around 67 to $70, I think, for the support bearing so I reckon it's going to be about that in pounds unless they try and rip me off in which case I'll buy an OEM one elsewhere there are always options guys always options but yeah we'll, we'll get her back on the road we both need a health check guys <laughs> it's like, like when I'm not good she's not good and then when I'm alright, she's alright. <laughs> uh, we both got pains in, in the middle. In the middle of ourselves. I think the, the car's having a... <laughs> what do you call it? Sympathy... <laughs> sympathy pains. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Um... We're not full out, are we? No, there we go. Oh, come on! We've got so few left now, is that it? No, there's still a bit more. Another one up here. Oh. Maybe we should have a trip in and an encoded one and see what's in there. Combat Aftermath. That's Civil War, so is that one. Okay, still more here. They've got some weird chirpy sounds, haven't they? That's an interesting one to check out. Encoded expansion. That's interesting. I want to check that one. Because Civil War... Well, I want to see both. Let's have a look. Encoded expan... Oh, Christ. Well, it gives us something to do while we're waiting for the expansion migrate to come up. A fiver to take it off my hands. Sure, but you're going to have to add... Actually, I was going to say, even if you added three zeros to that, I would still probably give you a very reluctant no. If some, Yeah, if somebody offered me five grand for it, I would turn them down, I would, I would think, yeah. She's my baby, man. 
they only made 600 and something of them in, in the world. Well, in Europe, they didn't. None of them went to the States. There was, there's no club sports in the States, so they just stayed in Europe and the UK. And there's even less than 600 in my colour. There's even less than 600 in my colour with manual gearbox. And there's even less <laughs> with my colour in a manual gearbox and a sunroof. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's still a car that I park up. You know, I'll go, I'll go park it somewhere. And as I'm walking away, I turn around and look at it. And any car you can that you walk away from and you have to turn around and look at it, that's the right car. You know, if, if you're not looking around at your car as you walk away from it, you maybe don't have the right car for you. <laughs> if you're a petrol head, that is. And I'm kind of a petrol head. There's no phrase as uh, diesel head, is there? I haven't heard it before. Electric head. <laughs> Uh, cars do look quite generic these days, yeah. Sometimes like, you look at a car and you think, oh, is that an, is that an Audi? Oh, look, is that the new Audi? Oh, oh it's a Volkswagen. What? The only giveaway on the Audi... I don't want to be an Audi driver, let's put it that way. <laughs> um, but I prefer the 8 Series Beamer to the RS7. The M8 is a little bit slower than the R the new RS7, just a little, just a little. Yeah, I would love to have an uh, the the M5 competition though right now. Oh my god, I don't know what that is like 115 grand. Ooh, that thing. It has everything, man. It's comfortable. It's smooth. It rides a little firm. It's an M car, so you would expect it. But it is still comfortable. It's spacious. It's got a huge boot. Good for all the family. And it goes like the devil with its ass on fire. Unbelievable. I still can't get over how fast it was when I went in it, man. Freaking crazy. Are there any more uh, family saloon cars, four-door family saloons, that can hit 60 in 2.8 seconds? Because that's, well, that's the M5. <laughs> Under ideal conditions. And it's mad. That's madness. Oh, come on, Granny. I'll take you down to the shops. But it's closing in five minutes. Not a problem. We live six minutes away. As I said, not a problem. Get in. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Tesla plaid, yeah, but I'm talking... I'm talking uh, combustion engine, not electric. Yeah. Yeah, the Tesla Plaid will accelerate about the same as a Bugatti Bolide. Maybe for the first 100 metres, and that's it. Then the Bugatti's just, bye-bye, 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 Tesla, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. <laughs> nice of you to try and join the party. But yeah, it's uh, the Bolide is freaking stupid. Uh, but that's a race car, basically. It's not a road car. But it's it's impressive to know. If you look at the Bolide and, and see how Batmobile it looks and then you you know and then you can understand that a Tesla Plaid can keep up with it for a couple of meters it's pretty impressive on the Tesla isn't it that's impressive for the Tesla to be able to keep up with something of that magnitude because what how much is a Bugatti Bolide what what is that three and a half million you know oh Look at that, we've only got six of those, but they're only class ones, grade ones. Yeah, no, okay. Let's check this out. Oh, oh, it's not the one that I was looking for. <laughs> Security firmware patch. Okay, we needed specialized legacy firmware for 
for um, the dirty drives, but we've already got, we already had 71 of those anyway. Yamaha, yeah. Well, think of that, Yamaha R, zero to 100 in, and then back to zero again in less than 10 seconds. And a, F a Formula One will do not to 60 and back to a stop in about four seconds. And it will it will it will decelerate from sixty to a stop quicker than than it will accelerate to sixty. It can brake harder than it can accelerate, which is silly again. <clears throat> yeah, the brakes on an F one car will will shock you. More than more than the acceleration, I think. Brakes are crazy. It, they're, they're full on carbon. And they just stop. It's freaking crazy, man. Not road legal. No. no, I wish it was a security firmware patch. It was a specialized firmware. We got some more USSs popped up now, guys. <gasps> oh no! Freaking civil war. You know what would be an interesting. Mm, oh, would it? Would it, guys? I was going to say to go to another system that's outbreak that has that one that we found with like 50 million population and see if there's any expansions in there, high grade expansions. I mean, we, we've only found two so far, and I just want to find one more with, with you know, a good amount of time on it, maybe 15 minutes. 15 minutes on the clock, as long as it doesn't take me five minutes to get there. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 we can fill up here. Mm. Okay, and everything else is expansion, encoded, and the, what do you call it, the, the distress calls, and this one, what? Yep. Civil War, this one. Okay, degraded. That's it. If I quit the game and come back in and honk, there's going to be some there, right? But is it going to be the same ones? It will be, won't it? Because these are persistent. It's going to be the same ones even if I quit the game and come back in. Yep, and we know that because they're persistent, because when we quit the game and come back in, the same high grade is there that we went into before. Mm. So, what haven't we been into? Well, we haven't been into a civil war encoded. Is there any? What's, what's behind that? No, oh, no. Can you, can you zoom? Oh, freaking step zoom doesn't work here. There's. It looks like there might be three there. I can't even tell. Oh, yeah, okay. We really need to zoom in here. There you go. Okay, 28 minutes. Civil War encoded. It's probably going to be some more junk like we just saw in the last one. But it's not that far away, so I'm just going to kill a bit of time here. And go for this one. And yeah, we'll probably get the Python today. 29 minutes. But the, it's it's a mixed bag, isn't it, in the encoded? It's a mixed bag of stuff, so it's not a case of being able to pop in and fill your boots up with a specific item. <laughs> well, if you remember what I said about like the F1 braking, you know, if you if you if your eyes are a bit watery, uh, when you when you brake in an F1 car, it will any water in your eye, it will it will splash it onto the visor of the helmet. It'll it'll take the water from out of your eye and splash it on your visor. That's how hard the brakes are. It's freaking nuts. I think yeah, it was a. Uh, Former F1 driver, Jean Alesi, said that he was just winning his first ever race. 
and on the, you know, he was on the last lap, he was getting emotional because he knew he was going to win it. He was far enough ahead. There was nobody to threaten him. And uh, it was going to be his first ever win. So he got emotional. And he said, yeah, when I braked for one of the corners, the, the tear that was in my eye came out and splashed onto the back of the visor under braking. And that was in the... Oh, when was that now? That was in the 90s, I think. Imagine now, with carbon brakes. I mean, it's, it's freaking crazy. And the G-forces it must put on you. That's why when they strap you into an F1 car, you have to just about be able to breathe with the seat belt on. If it's easy for you to breathe, it ain't tight enough. They have to tighten it up so you can just about breathe. And then you're strapped in. You're like part of the part of the tub, you know. And the only thing moving around is your limbs and your head, and that's it. Iron arrow, hello. <laughs> right, we're gonna see what's in here now. Don't know why I boosted. What am I gonna hit? Oh, look at that! Just one shield emitter. And a, and a data beacon. These data beacons, you're better off with these than the materials. Encoded, and they're not... They're not great. I mean, that shield emitter is what? Grade 2? Yep, grade 2. Jesus. Okay, what am I ho hooking onto here? Because... The other thing, then. Come on. Incoming message. Oh, two eccentrics and uh, a specialized. All right. That's more valuable to me than the um, than the material that was here, really. I mean, grade twos. When you've got the material trader, yeah. It would be nice if encoded did like grade three and four or something and. Decoded, did grades one and two, something like that. Um, okay, well, yeah, we can go here again, right? Yep, we got a new batch. Mm, now my head just went to the movies. What was the film, guys, that had something, something, the new batch? Was that Gremlins? The new batch. I remember a film title that had the new batch in it. I think it was one of these gremlin kind of things. I can't remember. Anyway. It was gremlins, it was? Oh, cool. Right, yeah, gremlins. I don't think I've seen those movies, by the way. I know there's a car in the US called a gremlin. <laughs> I think it's an awesome name for a car, though. Okay, that's yes, here's one for you guys. Like if you're if you're a car person. Best and worst names for cars. Gremlin's kind of a, a cookie one, isn't it? But uh, I don't know. Like uh, in the American market, I would say Viper because that that tells you it's you don't think of Viper and think of a slow car, do you? But the worst one like in the in the in Europe uh Skoda uh, brought out the Skoda Superb. Really, I mean, it's a good car, don't get me wrong. You know, for the your average family car, the Skoda Superb's a very good car. But the name sucks. And whoever came up with it needs to find a new job because this is not your niche. <laughs> Superb. Oh, it's super. It's like the Ford Fantastic. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Can you imagine Ferrari naming a car like that or Lamborghini? <laughs> Rolls Royce come up with some good ones, don't they? Like the, the Silver Spur and the Wraith, the sh shad Silver Shadow and all that stuff. 
really cool, nice, really good names. And Lotus like to have names of cars beginning with the letter E. So you've got Esprit, Exige, um, Europa as well, the Lotus Europa back in the day. Exige, um, the other one that sounds like Exige, but it isn't. I forgot what it is. Is there a Lotus Elite? Is there a Lotus Elite, guys? Elan? Yeah, 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 Elan. The Pinto, yeah. Is there a Lotus Elite? I'm just going to check. Why have I got that in my head? Yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah, the one with the hatchbacky thing. Yeah, a friend of mine's got an old one that needs project work restoration on it. Yeah, the Lotus Elite, guys. It was dangerous as well. Maybe deadly, who knows? <laughs> yeah, the Lotus Elite Dangerous. Um, yeah. There's some crummy names for cars, though. Like BMW and Mercedes don't really do names. It's just numbers. Uh, Audi, the same. The only time you'll see a name on an Audi is if it says, like, Quattro or something like that. But... <coughs> Yeah, it's not the same for all German manufacturers, of course. I mean, you've got Volkswagen, uh, just going with the uh, proper pronunciation there. Volkswagen, which will have names, Passat and Polo and Golf and things. But Beamers are all about numbers, you know. Used to be just 3 Series, 5 Series and 7 Series. That was it. And then they then they came up with the two and the four and the six. Actually, the six has been around for quite a while. And then they got the eight. So far, there's still room for a, a BMW 9 Series. That's not happened yet. That'll be interesting. And the same with Mercedes. It's the 300 or the 480 or the 500 or the 600. Yeah. I suppose it saves having to think up of names. You just put numbers on them. Interesting marketing decisions, though. Different for one than another. Um, Chevy Nova. I, that's, not, that's pretty good, though, the Nova, because it's kind of like Supernova, right? You think of it in that way. Yeah, I think that's an okay name. I don't know. Maybe. Then you got posh-sounding names, right? Like the Cadillac. Coupe de Ville, the Fleetwood Cadillac, or is it Cadillac Fleetwood? I've always known it as Fleetwood Cadillac. Is, it, is that right? Is that the way around? I had a toy car, and underneath it said Fleetwood Cadillac. But isn't it, wouldn't it be Cadillac? Ca, ca, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Whatever. Cadillac, not cattle. Nothing to do with cattle. Yeah. If you had a Cadillac pickup that you could put cows in the back, yeah, you could. it could be a cattle, a Cadillac. And what the hell is an Escalade? I don't mean, I know what a Cadillac Escalade is, but what is the word Escalade? Is it something or is it just invented? Yeah. Do I want to find improvised components? I don't want to leave this system until I've got my stuff. I mean, I'm not going to hang around here forever, obviously. Uh, let me see how much I've got of them, and I'll let you know. Another company that does numbers is, uh, numbers and letters, is Cit Citroen, 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 uh, yeah, DS, they like DS, don't they? What are we looking for here, improvised? Oh yeah, I don't have any, do I? Mm. Yeah, it might be good to do those at some point. Uh, are we burned out in this system then? We're just going to have to make do with the 72 that we have. It's such a shame, I would love to fill the bin up, it's such a shame. Yeah, um, what do we do, guys? Do we hang around for a little bit? What do you want? 
Um. Wait a minute. How many light centuries? Are we away from Digger Wandry? Oh, 83. Okay. What's the standard jump range on a python? I do not know. Okay. Python. Here we go. Uh, jump range is 300. What? 30.7. Max. Oh, no, no, no. Right, stock. Oh, no, don't put it stock. Do uh, 5A. So 5A. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Have we engineered a 5A FSD before on this account? Hmm. Unladen 17.6, but that's with E rated. So 17 would be 34, 68, 78. Yeah, so it'd be five jumps from Dear Gwandry back to here in a Python. Unless we put the FSD booster on, then we get it down to four. Anyway, this is only, this does it in two. Let's do another thing. I just want one more high grade expansion with a few minutes on it. That's all I want. Come on, baby. Deliver us from all that is ho holy. What's in the degradeds these days, anyway? Anything? Just junk, scrap? We've got one right here. Let's go check it out. Civil War degraded. Let's see what junk is in here. Or, who knows, there might be something really cool in here. Like, a map going to Raxla. Do I have the mats for the F1 FSD? That's a good question. Um, ooh, now then. Hold on. Tech. Would that be under Tech Tech Broker Blueprints? Hold on. Human Modules? Yes, it is. Engineered FSD B1. Right. The answer is... Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Electrochemical arrays required 26, I have 27, and they're not getting used in the dirty drives. So, yes, I do, but I don't. Okay, so there are four ingredients required. I have three of those. The one I'm down on is data mine work exceptions. You need 18 of them. I only have eight. But all we need is a distribution center and we can farm those data mines up to 18 in f no time at all. So I just need to get 10 data mind wake exceptions, which is going to be a piece of cake, basically. It won't take, uh, won't take long to get those. And I need some more electrochemical arrays if I want to do that on two ships. Like, I want to do it on this one. Because <clears throat> it's an exploration ship. And, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, there you go. Tellurium, need 26, I have 150. Chemical processors, you need 28, I've got 80. Electrochemical arrays, you need 26, I've got 27. So, we definitely need to get at least 52 of those uh, and data mind wake you need 18 I have eight so we would need to go to a distribution center which is famine isn't it 
Plumbing system's probably high pop and stuff. Yeah, it's this isn't much different to a uh, encoded. Incoming message. So these grade one, grade two, grade one. Yes, yeah, so it's there. Mind you, we don't have many of those. Let's pick them up. Um, very similar, aren't they? Encoded and degraded. Chemical uh, storage unit. Unito <laughs> de storage de chemicals. I have no idea what the hell language I'm supposed to be speaking, so just ignore me for the moment. Yes, electrochemical arrays, uh, dabs hope that uh, you, we can trade down for them as well. Down trading with military supercapacitors or polymer capacitors. Now military supercapacitors we picked up in, in this system, uh, no it was the other system wasn't it, that was in outbreak and we, we went to a we went to a, a high grade that had war, war state, and we picked up military supercapacitors there. We can downtrade for those. That'll be the quickest way to do it. So let's have a look, see how many I've got of those. So we're looking at polymer capacitors. I'm not sure about those. Oh uh, yeah, you see, don't have them. And I can't believe I've not picked up any polymer capacitors yet. There we go. Try and get in the right thing. Right, so 51 of those. And chemical, sorry, electrochemical arrays are grade 3, so the downtrade should be pretty good. So getting the Getting enough of those to do two FSDs, not a big deal. And the other thing is uh, military. Oh, hold on. Milit military supercapacitors, which you've got 15 of. So I, I would trade these. Actually, we get less on those, wouldn't we? Because they use a grade four, and electrochemicals are grade three. We would get a better trade-off on these. If I pawned off a couple of these. Yeah. We could we could make it work. Right, what are we doing? We're having another look. Oh, there's a few popped up here, look. Let's take a looky. Come on, just give me one. One high grade in expansion. Rusty happy. Come on. Oh my god, 13 minutes. Uh, how far away though? Okay, go, go, go. Now you can't, I can't, I can't, can I? No, I can't. While I'm en route, I can't go into the FSS to check out the others. There may be another one with half an hour on it. <laughs> if there is, it will still be there when we're done. Now, is 13 minutes enough time? If we get five on this run, that gives us an extra 15, which will give us 80... Seven. 
and then all we need is so if we get a five a five and a three if we can do this twice and find five high grades sorry jesus christ and five five i think i'll just stop talking if we go into these high grade twice and inside one of them there is five of them and inside the next one there's three of them that's enough maybe five and four what about two fours that gives us eight that gives us a total of 24 not enough one of these is going to have to be a five 12 minutes I think we can I think we can do three three runs here guys <laughs> maybe four if we say three minutes three minutes a pop maybe four how many did we do last time and then we we had we only only took us 10 minutes to fill up we had less than 72 didn't we so yeah we may have enough time here and then we can leave back to Diego Andri pick up the Cobra take it to Mr. Palin get the thrusters done pick up the Python that we haven't bought yet take that to Mr. Palin have its thrusters done straight away oh yeah vehicle upgrades lovely come on we'll, we'll jump in here with like 11 minutes remaining come on give me five don't give me three give me five what did the, what did the dream bring us oh geez three okay so bring me five next time yeah that'd be appreciated Whatever we get here, guys, we get, you know. If we don't fill the bin, we don't. But if, if we do, awesomeness. Oh, that's even freaking worse. Where are you? Jeez, take that away. Oh, you've got to be... <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> How did that get picked up? Okay, there we go. Come on, don't get, don't press the wrong buttons now, Rusty. Just go for it. Okay. Right, I'm budgeting for three minutes a run. It might be around that, and we'll see. So, 81 isolators. N 19 required. So, it, oh yeah, if, even if we get five here, it's not enough. But if we get a four and a five, or a three and a four, maybe, in the next, we need to, we need to be able to do this two more times. And then I think, uh, oh my God. If the next two runs, if we manage two runs, and both of them only contain three, we're going to have 99 instead of 100, and that will kill me. I, I will not like that. So let's just hope in one of these next two that we can at least get more than three. Just one time. And then we're good. Up, 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 No throttle because we're we're only kilometers away. No throttle required. No throttle. No throttle. No throttle. And in. Talk to me, you bastard. You, you absolute pure butter. Next one has not got to be three. Otherwise, we're going to have to try and squeeze another run in. After, we're going to have to squeeze two more in after this if we get three on the next one. Come on, I'm lining you up. You know I am. Don't miss one, Rusty. Don't miss it. Okay. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Forward, forward, forward. There we 
go. Lovely. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This will give me 90. Please don't give me three next time. Please, please, please. <laughs> please, 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 please. Don't, don't end me up with 99. That would kill me. Uh, 369. If we are budgeting three minutes a run, we could have time for two more, couldn't we? And then that would be it. We'd have no more time after that whatsoever. Okay, 90 isolators. If I get four in this next one, we can breathe. If I get five, we can still breathe. It's just, if I get three, then that's not so good. Man, we've been, that's, that'll be two grade five items that we will have completely filled up on. Very nice. The thing is though, like I said, the polymer, uh, the, sorry, the pharmaceutical isolators, they're only used for grade five uh, dirty drives. That's the only thing they're used for. So the only time I'm ever going to use them is for that, unless I don't need them for that, in which case they're a good, a good uh, item to trade with. That's the grade five. Oh, we can breathe. Ah, whatever time is on the clock of that high grade, I don't need to worry about now. Unless, of course, I hit one of these things so hard, I blow it up. Don't say that, Rusty. Ah. Theoretically, we'd end up with 102 here, but that's not going to be possible. So yeah, for me, a rare message about to pop up on this screen. Pharmaceutical isolators full. Ah, uh, limpets? No, no, no. Because they—it's an exploration ship. This it would. It's, it's not for doing that, but no, I prefer to do it manually, I'm just as quick. And I'm, I'm more reliable than limpets. Limpet expired. Limpet expired. It just gets on my nerves. No, this is quicker, and besides, it means I don't have to have a limpet controller inside, and I don't have to remember to stock them on limpets. Nah, but I prefer the old school way. This is good for me. Oh, screenshot. <laughs> Uh, holy moly, guys. How about that? There's a sight to see. Jesus! How big is the grind, my stream asked. Well, find the right system, find the right high grade. The rest is easy. So we did that one and we did military grade alloys. That's sweet, isn't it? It'd be nice to have done some supercapacitors, but I know how to get those. I'll, I'll forget tomorrow, but today I know. Outbreak system uh, with one of the factions in a war state, and then if you pick up a war thing, you get military supercapacitors. Fricking awesome. Oh. I did say we were going to Dear Guandry, but because you guys let me know about the engineered FSD, that would be great to put on this ship, the Diamondback, and it would also be great to put that on the... Um, on the Python as well, just to, it doesn't have a fantastic jump range, the Python, but it would be nice to have those. So, we need to go to uh, a famine system, 
and we were looking for high traffic basically so high traffic we're, we're going to be looking for high population so let's go and see if we can grab some data mined can't do it in this ship we've got to go to Diaguandu first because this ship does not have uh, a wake scanner on it we'll get the we'll get the amount of data mines that we need uh, Actually, no, we can't. Uh, wait a minute, 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 hold on. Yeah, we can. Um, so, if we go to Inara and ask it that we want a... Oof, hold on. Now then, I want to find electros. These. Right, so these are manufactured. Okay, so what we're looking for is a is the nearest material trader of manufactured to either where I to either where I am now or to uh, Dear Gwandry, but right now we are in LHS one five four seven if I my brain is working and we're looking for a material trader. So closest one to here that is manufactured is Tentauri, which is literally next door. Clairot City. Let's go and do that first. All this is basically just planning ahead so that when the time comes to put the upgrades on, the Python will get two upgrades immediately thrusters and FSD straight away. Um, so if we go here, it's literally next door, guys. It's right there. So we go here. We're going to gather enough electrochemical arrays. We will have to trade for them, unfortunately. We're going to have to trade from... Yeah, stuff. And, um... Oh, sorry. Um... I'm going to need 52 electrochemical arrays. I've got 26. I'm going to have to trade to get 52 of them. Obviously, I'll have none left at the end, but... No biggie. And then we'll go and get the data mines that we need, which I need 36. I've got eight. This is to do two of them. Gathering 36 isn't going to take very long. And then what that will do, it will give us dirty drives with drag on the Cobra and the Python. And it will give us pre-engineered FSD on the Diamondback and the Python. So not a bad deal, right? It's pretty good. Okay, we need Clairot, assist, uh, Clairot thing, which, how far did they say in that was? Uh, I'll just do it this way. All right, so here we have a human, not a human, a manufactured, I'm jumping ahead of myself there, manufactured trader. Oh, this is the core playing of the game, isn't it, really? It's what you get on this channel. It's not, you know, it's not uh, doing something extremely specific. Like, it's, it's, this is core gameplay to, to get your essentials done on your ships. This is how it is. This is the, the, the actual game. Yeah, hands-on, definitely. I, I, I've kind of got the same attitude with... Um, Docking as well. I, I prefer to manually dock than, you know, it's part of being a pilot, isn't it? Docking yourself. But I, I, I do understand people that like to auto dock. It takes away some of the, uh, you know, well, it's not really stress, is it? But I mean, yeah, you can just sit back, let it dock, eat a biscuit. Have a sip of tea, 
So yeah, it's, that's, it's fine. And it does it well enough anyway. And it's really cool. The auto dock is awesome for doing the, if you've got, like it does the landings on the planets, you know? That's brilliant. I don't use that either. Again, I'm old school, but I just prefer to do it, find a parking spot manually. I don't mind the, the thing on here, what's it called, Super Cruise Assist? I don't mind that. But I don't really need it that much. So for me, it's, it's something I would fit if I had a spare slot. If I had a slot to spare, I'd put one in. Um, I generally don't though. I, most of my slots are either, if I have anything spare, I'll stick a cargo rack on it or something. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what this has got in cargo. No idea. No, oh, wouldn't. Okay. We're not gonna have anything here, are we? Because we haven't done anything. But yeah, no, no cargo. No cargo racks. Don't need them for exploration. Why would you want to carry something and drag down your uh, your your jump range? I wonder how much extra we'd get with the with the engineered FSD guys. Uh, we've got s actually I don't know how accurate that number is. Sixty eight's not accurate because we've got we don't have a full f fuel tank. I think it's sixty seven something on this. I wonder how much extra we would get. Exactly, Mark. Yeah, we've all done it. So you, you guys can all relate to my gameplay, right? You, you've all done this. It's it, all of all of my stuff in my stream should be relatable to you guys, and in fact, even more so sometimes where you guys help me out because it's you relate more to it than I do. So, yeah, that's good. Forty-five or so. What's that, Shuggy? Sorry, forty-five or so. Light years. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, no, I meant on on this uh, on this diamond back here. It'd be inter it's be good to know I can just go straight ahead and do two engineerings on the Python immediately when we buy it. And two good ones as well, you know? Thrust is good because if you get interdicted it's good to have a nice speed to try and boost away and not get hit. Especially if you know, like I do, that that Python's going to be used for trading stuff, um, most likely. And um, also the FSD, you know, the bigger the jump, the better. That's true, Simondo, yeah. Many, many different styles of gameplay are available in the league. You just choose the path. You want to, you can just pick a completely different path that you've never done before. There's so many different things. Like somebody suggested before, you know, like just start a new account, start with a Sidewinder, never change ship always with the sidewinder so first thing you would do is get the engineers unlocked to get that thing engineered to its absolute freaking maximum if that's the ship you're staying with personally i don't think i could ever do that i could probably stick with a cobra it would be a bit mm, limiting right but if if there is one ship I could comfortably stick with, I'd like to say Python, but the thing that lets the Python down is its ultimate jump range. The crate is similar to the Python. It has a, a slot or two less than the Python in, in, on the internals, but its jump range is better. So something like that, Python crate, Something in that range is kind of where I'd want to be with it, right? 
Okay, so what do we need? What do we need to receive here? That. We're going to give up three of these. We need 52, we got 54. Boom. Sorted. That's it. All done. And these we know we can get them in the outbreaks with the war things, right? Or, or maybe other places, I don't know. So yeah, I don't mind giving three of those up. I don't know if I'm going to be using them for anything soon. Um, it probably will come out that way now. Am I talking too much, guys? Or oh. because <laughs> I I kind of have to, don't I, when I'm streaming? Kind of the whole point, like a radio DJ. So <clears throat> next thing we're going to do is get the data mines, and then we've got all the stuff we need to do the upgrades we want. Uh, so we now need to go into. Yeah, and we want outbreak change to famine. Right, so something high pop would be cool. 17 million. Okay, well, I'm going to mark it. No, don't zoom in. You... Okay, zoom in. Right, let's see. Any, any uh, bets on or any movements on that? Nope. We want to get a good one. It just all it needs is to have a distribution center, and we're good to go. Twelve. That's not quite as good as what we have here, right? No. Seventeen here. So seventeen. Any advance on seventeen? Where's me bubbles? There. Okay. Can you disappear off screen? Thank you. I think I've made the the zoom a bit too much. I zoom in on this again. Okay, now we zoom out till it's about that size. There we go. Right, let's see. This might be our best option, at least at the moment. Yeah, Crate 2 is good. Which is the one with the better jump range, though? Is it the Crate 2 or is it the Phantom? The Crate Phantom. One of them, you can you can smash 70 light years out of it, right? Well, which which one is that? Or is it, or is it both? I'm probably going to click on these things a few times, guys. Okay, we've got one there. And we've got one here. That's not good. Phantom, okay. But how does the Phantom's internals compare to the Mark II's? You know, it's... Hmm. There's a, it's always a trade-off in Elite Dangerous. There's always a trade-off. You, you, you gain with one hand and you lose with the other. It's always the same. That's how Elite is just constructed. Okay, I think for the moment it looks like this LHS 134 is going to be... Oh, hello. <gasps> Holy crap. Guess where we're going. 1.2 billion and it's in famine. Right, come on. All we need is a distribution center. We just... Oh, where am I going? I can't go there. Okay, what's it called? Docking coupler disengaged. Regulate speed until clear of exclusion zone. I can go there, but I may have to redock here first. I'm going to I'm going to have to redock here first, guys, before we go. This isn't the most ideal ship for doing this though, the Cobra is. But uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to check it out anyway, Zonta, though. If, if that's okay, just for my own 
satisfaction. Scan detected. Where did you go for yours, do you know? Where did you go for your for your uh, thing? And was it this week? Did you do it this week? Warning. The f Engage landing gear. I do not want to marry my landing gear. If you can tell me the system you went to and it's still in famine, I'll go there instead. One less hard point, okay. Oh, same as the Mark II, the internals are the same? Oh, less internals, okay. Thank you, Zonta. <coughs> right, so we need to go here into utilities and we need to add a wake scanner. Oh, of course you don't have an A-rated one. Why would you? Right, we need range on this. So, that one. It's temporarily equipped. It's not going to be on there for too long. But we do need a wake scanner. Shields. It, it's just a scanner to make sure you're awake. Um, Jesus, that brought the jump range down. Sensitive little bugger, aren't you? What? How's that gone up again? Was, okay, my eyes must be deceiving me. Um... And we'll put that there, why not? Okay, so we've got a new fire group. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, the, I, it, it was quicker just to fit this rather than go back to Dear Gwandry and grab the Cobra, which already has the wake scanner on it. The only thing is when you're doing distribution centers, you need to be able to boost distances, you know, and this ship is not kitted out for, for boosting. All right, we're gonna go for this, guys. Full shields. <laughs> One of my favorite features of the Diamondback. Go through the mail slots sideways. Or edgeways, depending. Aye. Yeah, you see this insufficient energy in capacitor? That's not going to help us. And we're getting these uh, wake scans. We need boost, we need speed. And this cannot compare to my Cobra. And the Cobra, if we go to Palin and do the... the this is the irony, isn't it? If we went to Palin with the Cobra, and did the dirty drives on it, we'd have even more thrust on that first. So, should we do that? Should we go and upgrade the Cobra, or its thrusters, and then go and look for a famine, famine place? Distribution center? Should we do that? It would make the most sense, right? I think... The thrusters on the Cobra are already up to grade three. Yeah, let's do this, guys. And hope that the Cobra doesn't have to travel too far to the famine system. Yeah, it's right here, two jumps. So we'll go, we'll go there. We'll strip the, uh, we'll strip the wake scanner off this. And we'll do that. Hopefully, Palin, please don't be too far away. It makes more sense to do it this way. It, yeah, it does. <clears throat> because we need boost speed, right? Um, once you've boosted to one of the high wakes, the other one could be completely in the opposite direction. And so 
the faster you go, the quicker you get there, the quicker you scan it, and the more chance you've got to relax for a few seconds until the next wave of ships come in. That's my uh, reasoning on that. And we get a chance to jump into the Cobra again. Mighty Agoo. Hey, Mighty. Am I on, I'm on a PC. I'm on PC. Personal computer. Yeah. I've just got an email from Steam. Motorcycle Mechanic Simulator is now on sale for £5.86. What a weird price. Oh, I know why, because it's converted from euros or dollars, maybe? Don't know. Okay. Uh, well, well, there. It's no coincidence, guys, that the ship icon is a cobra. It's, it's no coincidence. It's the most iconic ship in the game, I reckon, isn't it? It has to be, because that was the ship you had. Well, you had Sidewinder, didn't you, as well, in the original Elite. And then Cobra, and the other ships were there as well, but yeah. I think it's the most iconic ship in Elite, personally. What am I grinding for? Oh, we've, we've done it. Uh, well, mm, yeah, we kind of have, but I'm going to do data mind wake exceptions now, which, once we find the right system, it's not going to be difficult. To, to do it um, yeah it's uh, the stuff I was looking for though the pharmaceutical isolators not only did we find those but we filled up the bin completely with them and while we were waiting to do that we also did military grade alloys full up to the brim as well so it's it it's been quite profitable because <laughs> now with the pharmaceuticals if I don't touch them for anything except engineering I can do 10 ships at grade 5 dirty dirty drives 10 of them so that's going to hold me in good stead for the future right so I'm all in for that that's brilliant I will not need to look for pharmaceutical isolators again for a long time Good morning, Denzel, from Australia. 6.15 in the morning. Yeah, when you said morning, I figured AM. <laughs> 6.15, wow, cool. It's uh, just half past nine in the evening here. That's PM. <laughs> oh, chemical manipulators? Um, Dab's Hope have those. If you go to Dab's Hope, you can pick those up. And they, they don't appear every time, you know, when you log out, log in, do another run. They don't come up every time. But, as with everything you, you get from Dab's Hope, whatever you're going there to fish for, while you're waiting for your thing to come, and be on the ground for you to pick up, you're going to be picking up a crap load of other good stuff as well. So, Dab's Hope's a, a win-win scenario, really. But yeah, they do appear at Dab's Hope, manipulators. If you've seen me do Dab's Hope, then you'll know what I mean when I say, like, doing a lap around it. Um, you may do a few laps and you there won't be any. But, but they will show. Pad 2-1. My, hey? Pad 2-1. Okay. So it's not a Star Wars reference then. My little pad to one. <laughs> My little pad to one. Pad to one. No. No. That's just, no. My, it's my ears hearing, hearing things. Padawan, Padawan. Padawan, Pad 2-1. Pad 
thousand meters from touchdown. Not remotely the same. Okay. Landing complete. Clear to disembark. Enjoy your visit, Commander. Oh, my body clock's out of whack again. Ever since the Japanese Grand Prix, I, um, I didn't go to sleep until, I don't know, 7.30 this morning. I'm on a weird clock. What else is Steam offering? Oh, that's it. It does send me emails now and again. Something from your wish list has gone on sale. And I did put it on my wish list at the time, but it's been out for over a year now and I've still never bought it. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we don't need this, do we? So we can just uh, sell that. And now we can switch to El Cobra here. Yeah. My commander name on this one, it's Oliver Hardy. Normally it's Rusty Dog, but this one is a different uh, different account. So it's Oliver Hardy, as in Laurel and Hardy. Don't tell me you don't know who they are. Right, okay. So, Professor Polino in the ARC system. Oh, Jesus. It's only 220 light years, guys. Oh, this poor little cobra. It's going to get worn out. Uh, okay, 220. I don't know. How many jumps? Seven. It's not too bad. Um, I know this failed on the Rusty account, <laughs> but we don't have any pre-engineered FSDs in this account, do we? I mean, of course we don't. No, so you don't really have to go check, Rusty. You don't, so don't. Go. There you go, is that you? Yep. You have to subscribe as well if you want to be on my friends list. Don't forget to subscribe. And and all that YouTube stuff. Right, oh look at the size of the cockpit. Much wider. And the boost speed on this is gonna be very nice. Uh, but we're not fully up to spec on these boosters. Let's check them by the way. Boost speed. What can we hit? 516, is that it? One more? Okay, 516 is our current boosty boost. We're not going to go too much more than that, really, with this upgrade because we've already got things. Right, now I'm going to just back off the speed until the throttle is coming down. There it is. Okay, now we're going to go back up again. And while we're doing that, we're going to go into the modules come down to thrusters. Oops, should be at the top, right? Yep. Okay, and... Oh, it's only grade two. Oh. Okay, we're going to get a decent change then. Okay, so top speed, 361. 361, 516 boost. Okay. Power, are we good? Yep, we've got plenty of power left. Let's go do this. Oh, the Laughing Gravy reference. <laughs> yeah, one of my ships is called Laughing Gravy. On the Rusty account, yeah. They're the best though, aren't they, Lauren Hardyman? They're, they're just the best. Laughing Gravy was so funny. It's the name of a dog, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. It's a strange name, Laughing Gravy, but there you go. Poor little Laughing Gravy. They smuggled him into a house that they were a bed and breakfast kind of house, and they smuggled the dog in. 
um, and they just spent the the whole film. It's like a 20 minute film, but they just spent the whole thing trying to hide the dog from the landlord and stuck it up the chimney. It got dirty. Then they had to wash it. And, oh, such a good episode. Not even. It's not an episode, is it? It's a it's a short film. Now, I will always maintain Laurel and Hardy were the best to do it. The best comedy duo ever on this planet. I can't think of any comedy duo that's better than them. And I've tried. I might be a little bit biased, but yeah, no. Yay, Shaggy. They define, they define the word comedy, you know. They, they break so many rules, they, they look directly into the camera, breaking the fourth wall. They have a catchphrases, which sometimes don't work with comedians. And it, they make it all work. They went from silence, silent movies to talky, talky movies. They transitioned very well. Charlie Chaplin couldn't do that. He, he tried to do the talky ones, but it didn't work for him. But he went back to doing silence when everybody else had transitioned. Um, but Lowell and Hardy just went to talkies and made it work better. Stan Laurel was a freaking genius because he did a lot of the writing. Ollie was more you'd find him on the golf course. He was more your golf course guy. But um, Stan was the genius, absolute genius. And then they did some movies for MGM, but MGM didn't give Stan Laurel the full writing control. And the films were just not as good because they brought in other writers and it's like, no, you have to trust Stan Laurel to do it and just leave him freaking to it. He knows what he's doing. But MGM, uh, they had no idea how to how to handle Lauren Hardy. I'm totally showing my age. Well, no, not really, because I wasn't born in the 1930s. You know, I mean, generation this the generation we have today could be picking up Lauren Hardy and learning all about them. And I I hope they do, because. I've seen things where, you know, I've seen a reaction channel do a Lauren Hardy. Uh, it wasn't Mandy, it was somebody else. And they said, um, yeah, oh yeah, I've not even, I've, who, this is Lauren Hardy, I've not heard of them before. Thinking, what? What are you, in your, your 20s or something and you, you've never heard? Man, your parents have brought you up wrong. <laughs> you need to sit down and watch them as a kid. They're just freaking hilarious. I, I really hope they just don't go out of fashion. Yeah, Way Out West was great, wasn't it? The, the thing with Way Out West was, one of the scenes that got me was the, when he's hauling Ollie up on the rope and he says, just a minute till I spit on me hands, you know? Oh my God, that was, I cried laughing at that one. Yeah, that's right, Stormlinks. They were indeed. And I liked some of the comedians from that day. I liked Harold Lloyd. He did his own stunts and they were freaking dangerous, some of those, man. Like, yeah, sometimes you had scaffolding and, and nets and things, but there were times when he didn't as well. Buster Keaton as well. They had to position him. Like, imagine the front of a house. It's all made out of wood, right? And the, the front falls over he has to, he had to stand in exactly the right place where the window frame was so that when it fell flat that it went through he went through the window frame so it didn't harm him at all there was no window in the house and if he was not stood in the right place yeah no camera trickery back then man it was just yeah they're not really sketches freaky they don't really do sketches as such but yeah the lonesome pine song was 
Brilliant. Sounded young for 85. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, Lauren Hardy's comedy now is, yeah, it's about that, isn't it? 85 coming on for 90 years old. And it is as funny today as it was nearly 100 years ago. That's good comedy, man. When it doesn't age, when it doesn't date, that's a sign of good comedy. When you can, two, three generations later, and you can laugh as hard as the generation that it came out in, that is the sign of good frickin' comedy right there. So any comedy you can pick up from the, the 20s or the 30s, you know, and you find funny, it's, it's good comedy. Harold Lloyd was really, really clever as well. He was good. But he was silent, wasn't he? He, he didn't do any talkies, as far as I know. I love Lucy, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the old the older comedy. Some of it was really good. It doesn't really matter the, the decade, 70s, 60s, 50s. If it's good, it's good, and it will last through the ages. And the other thing for me with Lord and Hardy is that I know the lines, I know the script, I know what's going to be said next, I know the joke that's going to happen next, I see it coming, and it's still freaking funny. You know, it's it's a it's a gift. Like, you know, I know the punchlines. <laughs> and, and it's still funny. And there was one of them, the one where they were working in the wooden sawmill and everything. At the beginning of that, Oliver Hardy did the same prank or joke three times in a row. The same joke three times. And it was funnier every time he did it. It's just, there's, there's just a way of doing it, man. It's just... It's not like, yeah, yeah, we've seen it twice before. We don't need to see it a third time. No, it, it was just, it just got funnier because of how, it, because of how cleverly it was written in. Hey, Lobbit! Oh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, some British humour can go over the US audience sometimes, especially if it's making a lot of British references um, so you kind of have to ease into it you know and I'm sure it would be the same for us if if we watched an American comedy that made a lot of like American references that was just that they'd know about that we wouldn't then we'd be just as confused with it as well it tends not to be that way I think the American humour is approached in a different way and I think, uh, what's his name, uh, Stephen Fry summed it up really well. If you go on YouTube, there's a bit with Stephen Fry talking about the difference between American and British humour. And I think he's pretty much got it spot on. Yeah. And he mentioned Stan Laurel as well, I think. Yeah. Because it was a mixture, wasn't it, with Laurel and Hardy? Because Stan Laurel was British and Oliver Hardy was American. So, yeah. But it was an absolute perfect combination. Johnny Carson. Yeah, he had some good guests on there. A lot of... He, he introduced a lot of stand-ups for the first time. Like, I think Jim Carrey was one of them. Jim Carrey did a stand-up on Johnny Carson. It was the first time anybody had ever seen the guy. Ever. And look what happened. It... it if Johnny Carson liked you, that was a big deal on that show. If Johnny Carson approved, that was a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen many, many people on Johnny Carson's show. Righty, guys, we are here. About to get our thrusters thrusted upon us if this laboratory is able 
I like Seinfeld. I do like Seinfeld. And Elaine is gorgeous. <laughs> My favourite character on Seinfeld is George Costanza, for sure. Hello, Newman. Hello, Jerry. Actually, I was doing... I was doing Jerry's mother back right there. Hello, Newman. Hello, Mrs. Seinfeld. <laughs> Newman was only meant to be a bit part, but he became popular and they just wrote him into the show, which is a good thing. And Michael Richards as Kramer. Oh my God, the physical comedy from that guy was just next level. Brilliant. They had a very good cast on there. Same with Friends as well. They just had... Half of it's the casting, the other half is the writing, yeah? If you nail both of those, you, you, you've got a winner. I think they did that with Seinfeld. I think they did it with Friends as well. And uh, there's some stuff I, I haven't watched. I've never seen an episode of uh, Cheers, for example. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see the pad. And you had to have the big salad. Right. Here we go. Does anyone know George Costanza's answer, answer phone message? The one he did on the series? <laughs> Elaine has always been hot. She was in that show, wasn't she? And she's such, she's such a funny person as well, um, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. When she went on and did Veep and stuff, she's really funny. She is genuinely funny. Uh, okay, so why are we here? Thrusters. Yeah, the writing. But you also need the cast as well. Yeah, you need you need to get the right cast going. Okay, guys, let's do it. And that works in everything. It's not just comedy, right? It's drama and stuff like that. So if you have like... Uh, well, why does it only have one here? So if you have like drama, like you've got Breaking Bad... Oh, Sopranos is a classic example. Sopranos is a classic example of the perfect cast. Absolutely. And the, the, the perfect writing. This modification has been completed. Oh, I see the difficulty. We've got to remove this. It's because we are at grade two... But we can't get to grade two with him because we don't. We this is our first time visiting him, and we only have grade one access with this guy. So we have to remove this. Oh, the freaking Nora! We there isn't an option to do this, is there? The only way to do it would be to move on to another one here and use up a material. Well, okay, I'm prepared to do that. We can we can do that. Well, let's generate for this one. So we're going to lose that grade 2, unfortunately, but never mind. It won't happen with the Python because we'll be up to grade 5 by the time we're done here. And now we can go back to dirty. There we go. Is there a way to remove that mod? The wire was good. I did watch the wire. Yeah. I think my probably my top three shows then in America was Sopranos, Breaking Bad. I'm going to say for drama, I would say Sons of Anarchy. I would probably do those three. If I had to pick one, oh my god. I'll pick one out of those three, Jesus. It's going to be between 
Sopranos and Breaking Bad, right? And as... I've got to be honest with myself, I suppose. As much as I adore and love Breaking Bad, I, I, it's and a fantastic freaking series. I have to give it to The Sopranos. I think it's probably the best series I've ever seen. It was so good. Oh, Frazier, not Kramer. <laughs> okay. to do a few rolls here but we'll, we'll be doing less rolls for the same mod on the python we've already got maximum grade reached on this guy so okay here go you know what this means guys don't you if i select this and do this now we will not be full on pharmaceutical isolators anymore <laughs> we won't have the full bin oh better call soul was friggin awesome I took so many years to watch that. I don't know why it took me so long to get around to doing it. The whole series had completely finished by the time I got around to watching it. But the guy who plays Saul, uh, Bob Odenkirk, who obviously it stems from... You have to watch Breaking Bad first, though, I think. Even though Better Call Saul is timelined before Breaking Bad, you really need to watch Breaking Bad first, because there's references to the other one, and yeah... Um, that's right, Monty, yeah, Jay Monty, yeah, I will, good idea. Um, yes, Breaking Bad is freaking amazing, Mark, honestly. Go watch it, watch the first episode, and then decide. That's all you need, episode one, you're good to go. <clears throat> You'll be stuck. Another series I like is, uh... The Shield. Okay, Michael Chiklis, that was brilliant. 24, of course. Did I need to mention that one? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, 24. Uh, I like Dexter. I thought Dexter was awesome. Both the main characters there were like Dexter and his, his sister. Um, both of those were just brilliant. Actors. Oh, the gentleman. Yeah, I've got that lined up to see. I have to watch that. Right, we are going to close the circles on this. I was going to count how many rolls I needed on this, but I don't need to, do I? I don't need to. See, the numbers are matching, so why do I need to close the freaking circle? Oh, that's just... You're taking the absolute slash here. Come on. Right, so we do need 10 pharmaceutical isolators. Oh, my God. Fuck off. Sorry for the language, but screw that. I ain't doing that. I'm not going to use up another, another one for the same number. No way, man. No way. I... I, I I uh, humoured it for a couple of extra rolls, but that's it. I did two rolls without changing the number. So yeah, they can go to hell, man. Hell in a handbasket. Okay, there we go. Now we've got the maximum what we can get out of this. Right, so now let's see what our top speed and stuff is, and then we'll go to the famine system. Uh, I don't know if Zontar managed to find that system. No, I'm not finishing it, man. It's not going to change the number. And if it does, if it's 139.93, it's not going to change anything. It, it's What's it going to make a difference? One, one, like, half a metre per second or something? Yeah, Star Trek I didn't count because I was trying to just stick with drama. 
which I'm not I'm classing Star Trek as sci-fi. So 93% now, okay. So we have to allow a little bit of extra there. All right, let's see. No, the material ground won't end as long as you're upgrading ships and modules and stuff. Ship released. But it will end if you if you decide to stop upgrading things. If you never upgrade a suit or a weapon or a ship or a module, your grind is over. Unless you do a mission that says, please find 75. Automated flight control protocol now offline. Thank you, Commander. Okay, top speed, previous, 361. New one. Okay, 434, take that. New boost speed, we're gonna have to do two boosts to find out. Okay, that's a bit quicker than I thought it was going to be. It's holding at 619, there you go. So we've up, we've gone another 100 metres per second quicker. 516 up to 619. And the top speed has gone from 361 to 434. So like an increase of 65 on the top speed and an increase of 103 on the boost. I'll take it. I haven't seen Starship Troopers Metaparcel, not seen it. Avenue 5, no, not heard that either. I'll write it down and see what it's about. Oh, there's an escape to victory. There you go. Let's me know it's there when I lean over. Jesus. Yeah, so we've got some good boost speed here, man. 619 in this little Copa. I'll take that. That is very nice. All right, so while we're getting out of here then, we still need to look for systems in famine. So I guess I'll just try and visit some that's got uh, maybe a decent population. It's got, it's got to have the word million on it, I reckon. That'll do. We'll go there. Three jumps. I gave my heart to a starship trooper. Okay. So, believe it or not, that whole trip that we did for 5,000 light years and back, plus getting all the sensor fragments at the Thargoid crash site yesterday, all of that was for just to do that thruster upgrade. Unbelievable. <laughs> because we needed the sensor fragments and the 5,000 light year trip to unlock Palin. But we've done a full upgrade with him now, so when we do the Python thrusters, it should be with less rolls than before. Again, there is an element of randomness to that as well, but in general, we should be able to do grade grade one, and it should immediately go to grade two, do a couple of rolls there, and it will be straight onto grade three. So in, in those lower grades, we won't have to do as many rolls as we just did on this one. Yeah, wow. My Delacy coffee machine there. It's a coffee machine in microwave.
Right, there may or may not be a distribution centre here. If there is, cool. If not, we have to find a different system. You do not need, I'm pretty sure on this, I never trust my own memory anymore, but I'm going to just say you do not need to scan the nav beacon to find these. They will, they will either be there or they won't. So here we go, famine. And famine the wrong system, then I'll have to move to another one. Stay for the puns, guys. Stay for the puns. I never saw Buffy or Angel. No. I did watch Little House on the Prairie, though. <laughs> but only because I was, when I was younger, I don't know, what, what age would I have been? Ten? Nine? Ten? I had a crush on Laura Ingalls, even though Mary was, Mary was pretty. And still is today. Yikes. Um, yeah, I had a crush on little Laura, little freckly Laura. And take a look at, take a look, um, take a look at her today. The streets of San Francisco. Oh, distribution center. No. Oh my goodness. Well, hello, baby. We got a couple. There's probably a third one, man. Is there? Normally there's been three in the systems I've been to. Plenty of debris fields, man. Is this because there's been co uh, combat here? I nearly said comedy. Guys, we've got them. They're here. Right, we're going to go wake scanning, baby. Uh, good night, Freaky. Have a good evening, sir. Thanks for stopping by, as always. I need the kitchen sink, actually. Need to wash my cups up in it. Right, so this is where we're going to get the data mine wake exceptions. Um, for, the, for the engineered FSD, we need 18 to do one. And ideally, I'd like to have two of them. So, really we need 36. I've got eight available. So, if we scan them in threes... Ba -ba -dum -bum, ba -ba -dum -bum. So I need 36. 32. 33. I need, I need 11 data mind wake exceptions, guys. We need to find 11 of them and that'll be it 11 data mines and we're done oh i, I thought you were tricked me there yeah have a good evening freaky sleep well man this stream's gonna be another longish one by the looks of it well, we're only 3 hours and 53 in, so... Yeah, there was a book about Laura Ingalls and uh, Melissa Gilbert, is it? Yeah, she's looking... Both the girls are looking good, man. It was a good series, that. It was well written for, the, for the, what it was. And again, they had a they had a good cast for that, and I also liked um, Dallas. Oh, I love J.R. Ewing. Oh my God, <laughs> best TV villain ever. Oh, another drama series I like, guys, which is done. I'm still I'm still processing the the last episode, the ending. Mm. Was the the blacklist. Raymond Reddington. What a that was a great, uh, greatly well acted role that was. Okay, Lizzie. All right, here we go. Here we go. And thus it begins. Right. So nothing yet because we need we need the ships to come in. Oh my God, guys. 
Right, we got all these two. So now we're going to have ships jumping in to drop off or pick up food. And when they, maybe three of them, maybe four of them. And when they jump out, here they are. One, two, three, four. And when each one of those four guys jumps out, we're going to have four wakes. And we will scan them all. And there it goes. And because we have the upgraded thrusters, we can keep up with anybody here. Maybe a little bit too much. So we might have to be careful on this. And my wake scanner is 10 seconds, unfortunately. If it was two seconds, it would be freaking awesome. So now we've got four wakes. Okay. Mm, three wakes. Somebody's late. Right, so we need to cover that ground before it pops away. We've got plenty of time. And at the boost speed that we've got now, not a problem. It's just slowing down is the problem, right? That's the thing. I'm going to have to get used to this new speed now. I used to be able to time it before when I could slow down. Wine. We got nothing from that one. Okay, there's there's two more there. So there's that one. I'm just gonna boost once and I'm gonna use no engine. So from three kilometers we're scanning. That's about right, isn't it? Yep. Is it? Yeah. Six kilometers guys. One boost covers six kilometers. That is freaking crazy. I'm going to boost this one from here because it's 5.4, so I need to point it down for a little bit. But we're not directly on target. And now we can go. So for each one we pick up, we get three, but we need... Oh, it's not good, it's not good. Come on. All right, so now we'll wait. So there's another. We've scanned those, and now we've got three more ships here. But we're just going to wait for those to go away now. If you have the night vision on, you can see that they're all spreading. We've got one guy going up there. We've got one guy going down here. It would be nice if when he jumped out, as we have focus on him, that it would automatically focus on the wake, but it doesn't do that. Two second wake scan on this would complete this ship. It would just be awesome. Eccentrics, man. Okay, so I got my finger. At three kilometers, we can begin the scan. <gasps> I had my engines on. Is that going to take us past? No, 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 no. Ah! Will not engage the engines. I've never watched anime, no. Never watched it. It doesn't. I don't know, it doesn't do anything for me. It's weird, people with big eyes and stuff. Doing too well. We're picking up all the other stuff, which we're probably going to be full, full up on by the time we've got these data mines. Oh, that's not good. I just boosted from four kilometers. Let's look up a little. Oh, come on, give me one, man. There's always something going on though, right? Because we've got three more ships here waiting to go. Four. Three adders and a hauler waiting to leave. So they're all going to produce new wakes. Let's chase this guy down. Oh, I think I was a little bit late on the boost there. I have to point down a few seconds. 
The ship's oh God, it's covering six kilometers, man, in a boost. It's ridiculous. Should have left it at grade two, eh? <laughs> no, we're good. Oh, no, we haven't even got one yet. No shortage of wakes, though, right? See, we don't need to be on top of the wake by the time we get there. We just need to be within three clicks. Oh, come on. Oh, you swine. Oh, come on. You need to give me inspiration here you need to give me motivation to keep going oh don't boost from four there's too much speed in this ship now actually it probably is quicker to boost boost and point down and then back up again yay we got one or three yeah we got three basically. That's good. We're on our way. It saves going to Fel Felicity and doing another FSD upgrade. Oh, a blank one. That's like the blank in Scrabble, isn't it? Getting one of those. Give me a sec. Okay, don't worry, we're in good time. Probably got all the wakes now. Yep, yeah, four of them. Yeah, so this is obviously the best way to get the data mines because there is always wakes to scan. It's not like you're sit satting out, sat outside a station having to wait for them to appear, like, and just one ship might come in and surge out, and then another one maybe a minute later. No, this is constant on the go. And of course, you pick up the other wakes at the same time, so... If they're needed for anything in the future, any other upgrades, then we can use it for those. Yeah, Jameson, yeah, we've been there. I, think, I still think this is going to be quicker, though, because, you know, we're already here and everything, and... Just a case of waiting. There you go. There's another three. That's six we've got now. And we've got two more before they pop out. That one we can scan without moving. Come on, give me another. I'm behind, aren't I? Next best thing to data mind is the eccentric eccentric ones and then strange wake and then whatever yeah that's that's the grade 4 one eccentric Atypicals, I think, are the most common, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so if anybody wants data mines or pharmaceutical isolators, all, all the answers are on this stream. <laughs> yeah, good informational. Oh yeah, baby, got another one. Because I just left the keyboard for a little while. I'm a little bit behind, having to catch up to all these wakes. Ah, we might need to just pop down here a second. Thankfully though, this faster ship will help me keep up. And claw some time back. Uh, or maybe not. I've got to scan these bloody ones before the other ones appear. Giving myself time to see what I'm picking up. Ah, slowed down too soon. Come on, three kilometers. Oh, we caught up. Right, how are we doing? Okay, we're one away from completing one FSD. In other words, one data mind work exception, and we can do one pre engineered FSD. I hope you don't mind these uh, grindy streams, guys. It is part of the game, isn't it, really? Oh, wouldn't it be great? You see you get paid twice there. Wouldn't it be awesome? I've never seen it happen, don't even know if it's even possible. Where you get paid two things and they're both data mines. Has anyone ever had that? Data mine, data mine. That's got to be either not possible or the rarest thing in Elite Dangerous. <laughs> oh, I've never seen it. We are going to completely fill up on some of these wakes. Wheel of Time books. Uh, no, I haven't read those, no. Right, now you just got a couple of seconds break. While you're waiting for... There they go, they're already on their way. Slow down, wasn't it? Oh, 
row, really? Wow, three in a row. Wow, Jesus. Three from a beacon? That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. So when we get this next one, we're going to get, we'll have 20 and then we'll need 16 more. So that's going to be six more. So we need seven in all. We need seven data mines now and we're good. We're, we'll be free to go. You are free to go. That's pretty good. Three from a data beacon. That's awesome. Oh, come on, Data. Sorry, Captain. Oh, I just felt it. That was going to be one. Unbelievable. Then you have a little break. Take a breath. Because there's about to be four more wakes coming. I, I haven't even got time to go and look at the uh, amount that I have at the moment. Because I'm going to be lagging behind. Like the amount of, um, what you call them, like the, the, the wakes, the different types of wakes. Maybe it can tell me. It can tell me on uh, Odyssey Material Helper better. This is the third time in a row now we've done Strange Wake and Atypical in one go. Okay, so I can tell you now, I've got it on screen. So wake scans, we have 151 atypical, 72 anomalous, 50 strange wakes, 93 eccentrics, and 17 data mines. What a comparison. Thanks, Denzel. I could do with another cup of tea, to be honest. I've only got my water here, but I'm not even drinking that. But I should. I've just had a chunky Kit Kat. A chunky Kit Kat made out of chunky kitties. Right. Where are you? No! I boost, I boost. I should not boost, but I boost. And now I'm further away. There we go. I hope that ship that flew past me was on the way in and not on the way out. And this is another problem, is when you need a pee. And you can't, because you'll get behind. Oh, there goes the frickin' phone again. It looks like the perfect boost distance is this six and a half meters, I would say. It's been a little while since we picked up a data mine. Longer than usual, I think. Maybe in this batch of four, we'll get one. It'd be nice. Android Chronicles.
<laughs> Shaggy Din. Not seeing one since. Yeah, they probably decided no one should have that happen to them, and they nerfed it. Nerfy, nerfy. From the FDev Banhammer. I saw an interesting uh, video today. It was semi-real, semi-sim. Uh, it was the some guy had gone round the Nordschleifer on a motorbike, and then put the his lap. Well, he was just going around casually, right? And put his lap up against uh, a set of Corsa, a Nordschleifer, for a comparison. And wow, it was pretty good. Probably the best rendition of the Nordschleifer we've got in sim racing right now. Very accurate. But you'd expect that with laser scanning. Yay! We have enough to do one. But do we have enough to do two? No. Oh, my heart is twinging, guys. What do I do? Wait till it gets worse. <sighs> oh my god, we just got another one. Two in a row. Can we get three in a row? No, we can't. Of course we can't get three in a row. This is uh, elite. Ain't it gonna happen, buddy. No way. Three in a row? Really? Nah. Chances are too remote. And... it's another one. Oh, stop moving around, you stupid menu. It's like going to a restaurant and having the waiter saying, what would you like, sir? And just waving the menu around in front of you, not keeping it still. That was a very late boost, Mr. Rusty Boy. Break, 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 break. Porridge, not had that for a while. Okay, let's go for the most furthest away. there? Ow! I'm trying to figure out how many we need now. Well, specifically, we need Thirteen. In total. So if we scan it, if we get three at a time, so yeah, five. We need five data mind wake exceptions. And that's it. So the number's coming down, guys. Yeah, long range. Yeah, but you know me, Andy. I've, I've got it this way at the moment. If I was to upgrade the sensor, I, I would do the, the quick one, but... Yeah, long range is also very handy. Especially if you can get out to, like, 
eight, nine kilometers, something like that, then you just have to sit there. And it is definitely going to be better that way, for sure. No doubt about it. I would put long range on this if I had the engineer unlocked, but I, unfortunately, I do not. It would negate the need for speed. Come on, five, we're on five, come on. Give me, give me four. Yeah, you basket. Draw a blank on that one. We're not move. oh, we are moving. I was wondering why the wake was actually moving. It's because we were. We had a little bit of thrust on. Oh God. Which bin's gonna fill up first? At this rate, it's it's a race between atypicals and eccentrics. Eccentric has got a smaller bin, 150, where atypical needs to fill up 300. Do you know what the, the, the bugger of all this is? Is that when we get the requisite amount of data mind work exceptions, is we immediately have to lose them all. And because we have to spend them. Oh, the blank ones are the worst. a little bit off center so it doesn't close in on me so quickly. Oh, frig! Atypicals are just typically everywhere. Now we're down to four. Top speed run here. Data mind work exceptions. We have 26 of them. We started with eight. Oh. Couldn't give us another double hit. I'm going to do a quick browser refresh here because I think I'm not doing it right. There we go. Okay, um, we should have some more wakes now. It's always behind me. I wish they'd all leave in the same direction. <laughs> that would make life easier. Actually, let me check the others. Okay, nothing near me. Pity I can't see the direction from there, but never mind. Just add some engine power to that. There we go.
Okay, it's healthy, strange awake and eccentric, but it's not what I'm looking for. It is going to say, like, I don't know if we need to do any or much to, uh, up, you know, to do a Felicity Farcia upgrade. I uh, really don't know. Oh, we've lost the entire scan now. No, nearly. But um, at this point, this is definitely going to be the quicker way, I think. Unless we have everything for the Felicity upgrade. But we won't get as much jump range as we would otherwise you know I mean this this stage one FSD is gonna or pre-engineered whatever you want to call it um, it's gonna give us the best jump range isn't it but I am right in thinking guys right that you need to the FSD is something you need to it's not a case of just unlocking it and that's it it's available if every time you want one you have to submit the materials for it don't you see some materials uh, sorry, some upgrades are like that where you have to keep keep paying for it every time and and others you pay once, that unlocks it, and you're good to go. Like the Guardian FSD booster, for example. Yeah, it is boring, <coughs> uh, but the end result will be worth it for, you know, from a gaming point of view. Four more. Oh, perfect scenario. It'll happen in the next four energy wakes, but it, of course it will not. power there just to cover the rest of the distance oh just had a feeling on that one didn't work let's get this far away one done might make the other two further away but the other two that are only four kilometers away might be in separate directions because that's how space works Come on! Come on, baby, come on, baby. Do it. The the grade one wake has got less in the bucket than... Well, numerically it doesn't, but percentage-wise we are closer to filling up the eccentrics, which are grade four than we are to filling up the grade ones. But as I said, you know, the, the, the grade one bin is twice the size. So we've got 196 grade one, atypical disrupted, but we have 114 eccentric space, eccentric hyperspace trajectories. So 36 to fill up the eccentrics, and, a, and 104 to fill up the wake scans. But percentage-wise, the grade four is getting filled up first, even though we need more of, uh, less of, yeah, whatever. Yeah, the, gr the grade ones, we need more of them. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> 
Stop drawing, Rusty. Stop drawing. This one. Ah, too many bloody typical atypicals. gonna say I needed to get that second boost in before six and a half kilometers which I did but that adds even more speed doesn't it so oh it's gonna be tight oh we just got it anomalous that's great too oh that was so far away who does the uh which engineer does the um, wake scanners anyway? Because I don't think I've got them unlocked yet. I don't think I have an engineer unlocked to do them. Otherwise, yeah, I would probably do the uh, long distance. Oh, still one left, or two left. But I think you guys can see, right, that this is the best way to get to scan wakes because it's, it's constant. You just never stop. Oh, and this is what you want because it just gives you the best pickup rate. Whichever wake you're going for, data mines or any of them, doesn't matter. It just gives you the highest pickup rate of, of any other way in the game. There you go, there's another one. Now we're down to th needing only three. We're getting there, guys, we're getting there. And then it's Python time. And fitting on the Engineered FSD straight away will be awesome because it means any uh, further upgrades that we want to put on that ship We're gonna have to jump to engineers and whatnot and having a, a Better jump range is gonna facilitate all of that stuff or anything else like Going anywhere you like even like for missions, whatever. It's gonna facilitate all of that And obviously having the, the, the upgraded uh, boosters on here as well. The thrusters will be brilliant as well. So, the the Python's gonna be in an okay shape. And we'll, we've got the money now, thanks to Palin. We've got 1.4 billion, so we can spend that on A-rated modules for the Python, just fully A-rate the thing. We're gonna be good to go. It, it is relaxing, but I wonder how it is for you guys, the viewers. Like, are you chilled out, relaxed, watching? Because I know it would be better if I was in combat and stuff like that, but... Uh, yeah, to a point I need to do chill stuff myself until I find out, you know, my condition, what's going on. Very chilled. Cool. Chill like living in a fridge. Again, I just keep getting these feelings that this is the one, this is going to do it. Let's play the wake guessing game. Okay, so on this one I'm going to go with Anomalous FSD. Anomalous FSD. If it's part of a double, it counts. Oh... We got a double and I wasn't even any of them. A 
Okay, I'm going to I'm going to play it safe on this one. Atypical disrupted S class 1, grade 1. Yep. This is an atypical. It's cool because if it's if I never guess data mine and one comes up. Yeah, baby. For the win. If you keep guessing atypical, you've got more you'll have more wins than losses. The higher up the grade you guess, the more chance you're taking. And the more reward. So I'm gonna go grade four here. Eccentric hyperspace trajectories. Bollocks. <laughs> grade one. Yeah, so it's from grades one to five, it's atypical disrupted, anomalous FSD, strange wake solutions, eccentric hyperspace, data mind wake exceptions. That's the order. Ooh! Quick, reverse, reverse, reverse. Just keep your finger on the button and the scan will resume. Three atypicals in a row. I mean, it's like it, it's literally like being on a on a fruit machine, right? All those other white things on the radar—they're just uh, beacons, uh, beacons that would lead you towards the T9s. I don't know why we need them. It's like traffic cones, basically. That's how they're laid out. Strange wake solutions. In other words, smashing you on the head to get you out of bed. That's a very strange wake solution, isn't it? Smashing you on the head with a brick to get you out of bed. Or shoving a frog down your pajama bottoms. That's a strange wake to get you <laughs> to get you out of bed. That's a strange wake solution <laughs> as well. Oh, space drives you mad, guys. It's space madness. Space madness is also something you get when your space bar doesn't work and you're trying to write something. Could end up with space madness. I always thought it would be cool to open a cyber cafe called the Space Bar, right? It's the perfect name and I don't know why people don't think of it. There was a cyber cafe where I lived and why do you call it the Space Bar? You've got a bar inside, it's computers, there's a space bar on a keyboard. I don't know why people are not thinking of this. It's, it's the obvious choice. I think they just went with Cyber Cafe. <laughs> Something Cyber Cafe. I don't remember what it was called now. It it wasn't anything clever. I'm sure there's other kitschy names you could come up with for a Cyber Cafe. Do they still have them? Cyber Cafe still a thing? You know, it's a little place to have a a beverage, alcoholic or not. And uh, the one we had we had a pool table and computers. Oh, I've not had a blank uh, wake for a while. Come on. We need three. That's kind of true, Tree Boy. Yeah, in a sense, that is absolutely true. If you think about it, everyone goes in now, don't they? Sits down with laptops and phones, head, head stuck in the phone. Yeah. 
if you think about it, it's, it has become that way. Everybody wants to be plugged in all the time. Well, don't. Plug out. Go for a walk. <laughs> Twitch off. Put your phone in your pocket, go for a walk and look around. That's what I reckon. I don't even know why they still call it a phone. I mean, back in the days of like the iPhone 1 and 2 and the iPhone 3, I think you could refer to it as a phone, a smartphone, it was a smartphone, wasn't it? But it was a phone that had some applications and some little gadgets on it, you know, it compass and a world time and all this kind of stuff. But now they've got so much on them they're mainly cameras more than phones. They're, it's like a camera that's got gadgets on it. And if you want to, you can make phone calls on it as well. It's like the phone has become the secondary. It's like the camera's used most, whether you're doing video or stills or selfies. Look, this is me eating a cheese sandwich, you know. Have you seen all that crap on YouTube? You know, the YouTube shorts? All these, uh, let's just say, shapely women, just... What's the word? I'm trying to lost the word. Um, parading themselves on the screen. Get some self-worth, woman. Jesus. These... It's ridiculous. They, like, they're just... Anyway, I won't ramble. I'll stay off that one. <laughs> Let's just concentrate on the wakes. Oh, there's so much crap on the internet. What do we have to do to get these last three guys? Keep scanning wakes. Yep, I know. Uh, so yeah, we got 29. Next one will be 32. Then 35. 36, 37, then 38. So yeah, we, we just need... We just need three. We need to find three more inside these high energy wakes. And... We can return. A handy. Yeah, I mean, it is, isn't it? It's, it's a, it is, it's, it's a device now more than anything. It's like a, it's a, it's a, a pocket computer, so to speak. It has a camera on it. It has a phone on it. And the no annoying thing about it, like, a lot of the, what they call social media is actually the opposite. It's actually unsocial, be unsocial media because have you ever been in conversation with somebody like face to face in the street or whatever, stood next to them talking and they take their phone out of their pocket and look at the phone mid conversation? Wow, like, I don't like that. It's like, sorry, was I, was I boring you there? anti-social media. It kind of is. It actually is. And there's a lot of trolls out there, right, as well. Yeah, it's very anti-social. And everybody wants their five minutes and two cents worth. Oh, and now we need two. I mean, I, I can't complain. I've had my two cents worth on here as well. <coughs> But yeah, it's... <laughs> Look at those beacons whizzing past. Uh, internet's a strange place. It's like anywhere, though. It's like any town. Internet's like any town. It's like 
there's good areas and there's bad areas, right? If you know, if, that, if that's a decent analogy, you know. And the dark web. You have to be careful with the deep layers of the dark web, though, because that gets that gets monitored by national. Uh, what do you call it? National security? No. What do they call it? NSA? I don't know. CIA, FBI gets monitored by all of those guys. Oh, by the way, whoever mentioned on the stream earlier about the uh, engineered FS FSD, it's your fault I'm here doing this, just so you know. Because <laughs> I, I would not have remembered about it. But it, it's, it's a good thing that I was reminded about it, though. It is. Because this is going to be a better solution for us. And the one that we fit on the Python, I believe, can be changed over to go on an Asp Explorer if we get one, because it's the same size, so it, it will it will actually transfer. So that's cool. I think what uh, how's a rubbish thing? Yeah, we've also forgotten how to socialise properly. Well, at least maybe not my generation, but. Certainly the ones that came after me. It's all on the phone now. Like, the other day, I think it was last week, I was coming home from shopping. I, I think I mentioned this as well. It was, I can't remember if it was three or four schoolgirls, all walking together, so obviously they must be friends, all walking home together, and uh, not one of them was talking to the other. They were all on their own phones. And I just noticed it and I thought, what the hell, man? Why don't you talk to your, your friends, you know, all of you? They're all on their phones. One's probably on... TikTok, the other's probably on Instagram, and the other's messaging her mum because her mum wants it. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> well, we don't have Woolworths anymore. Woolworths closed down here in the UK a long time ago. Oh, data mind. We need one more, guys. One more. We've got 35, we need 36. And it's not a case of, well, we might not need 36, we might get away with... No, this is a very specific amount we need. It is specifically 18 for each one, the baskets. So, is it this one? No, that's a blank. One more, guys, the last one. And I thank you all for holding out while we grab these. Probably better not to boost. We're just as quick on top speed now. Our top speed now isn't too far away from what our previous boost speed used to be. I mean, previous boost speed was 516. Top speed now is 436. It's not a mile away, or 434 or something, yeah. It's not a mile away. It's maybe going to cost you an extra second or two to get there. If it's eight kilometers away, I'm going to boost, though. Or seven. Definitely boosting for that one. <clears throat> A <laughs> cat with an Instagram page. You should never let, let the cat loose on the internet. <laughs> Does Spider-Man have a web page? Should do. <clears throat> We're 
We're just waiting, guys, for this one more. Oh, there's another wake there. Will it be this one? Right, let's play guess when the data mine comes up. This one. I'm going to say no on this one. I'm going to go no on this one. And the next two. So not this one, not the next two, but the, the, the one after. So not that one. Oh, there's one. It's right on top of us, this one. So yeah, no data mined on this one. Is my guess. I hope I'm wrong, of course. No data mined on this one. Will I be right? Will, will, will I be right? Da -da -da -da. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right, so this one. This is my data mine, guys. This is the one. Nine kilometers, we have to go for it, but this is where it is. It's like pulling that fruit machine handle and knowing this is where the three lemons are going to come up. Well, this is it. This is my data mind. You watch. You watch. Rusty is right. You watch. You will see. You will see. Boom. Oh. Right, I'm going to re-edit the stream <laughs> so that that works out. Now, the only reason I did it that way is because... If it had worked out, it would have been... <laughs> it would have looked cool. Anyway, didn't work, so I took a chance. Nah, I was just kidding you guys. I actually meant this one. This is the one I was actually referring to. Just joking. <laughs> Come on, one more, one more. And then it's Python time. We can go and put the other FSD on the Diamondback some other time. My cat Vela has got or has got a new fella. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a, a poem there. There was a cat called Vela who went out and got a new fella. I have to work on it. This is the worst one, isn't it? The last one. I'm not going to stay here and scan anymore, though. It's it's this one and we're done. We're nearly full on the atypicals. And we're nearly full on the eccentrics as well. And the numbers are nearly the same. Atypical to fill the bin, 29. Eccentric hyperspace to fill the bin, 21. We are so close to filling those bins up. And it's a shame we might not get there. Oh, well, we might though. It's the right this is going. Oh, Jesus. He's close, isn't he? I knew it, you bugger. I thought you had miles to go before you were gonna jump. That's the first one I've seen outside the 10 kilometer zone. Not that there is a 10 kilometer zone, but the first one I've had to go that far for. Oh, 
damn you. Come on, man. <clears throat> it was easier to get the pharmaceuticals <laughs> than it is to get these data mines. Even knowing that this is the right way to do it, or at least the, the most efficient way to do it. It's just the, the frequency of them popping up. At least you know with pharmaceuticals, once you've got the right uh, type of high grade, that they are going to be there. But with these, it's a, it's a roll of the dice, really. What happened? You switched? How the hell did you manage to do that? My fire group's moved. Oh. We have three more chances. Okay, we got one in range. Is it going to be within these last three? If that had been a day to mind, I would have finished doing the other ones that are here, the other three. I would have just finished those. <coughs> and then we would have been out of here. Please remain calm, we have enough rations for everyone. Panic stations. Is they're gonna get a are we gonna get a bin full before that data mine comes up? It's just persistence. This is the grindy the grindiest bit, isn't it, that we've done today. <laughs> and it's basically just time, really. That you have to sacrifice. Oh and worse, that you know you're sacrificing your time. And you get wakes that have got nothing in them. They should be banned. Come on, Frontier. All wakes should contain a signal of some kind. That's the, uh, the, the short straw version of the wakes, isn't it? There's nothing there. It popped? We didn't make that in time? What? How far behind schedule are we on this? Right, let's get back on it then. Hey, uh... Denzel, you, you still there? at the distance first. I think Denzel's not here and I've done his poem for him. <laughs> done a poem about his cat.
Well, before I forget, it's... Um, I don't know what the timestamp is on this stream at the moment, but it's, uh, yeah, my, my cat Vella, she found a new fella. She found him on the internet. But from what she says, she won't see him for days because he has to go down to the vet. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got. Now then, this way. This last one is elusive as tracking down a bug in Elite Dangerous. Hold on. Am I buffering here? I think I am. My, my browser, it's just, it's doing that spinny thing. No. Right. High energy. The irony of calling it high energy wake, because by the time you finish scanning all of these, you don't have any high energy left. Is it going to be this one, guys? No, it's not. This is going to be an anomalous FSD thing. Okay. Rusty, always go for the atypical. It's the most common. Yeah, I'm going to be looking towards getting the engineer unlocked that can do these scanners. I want fast ones, I want long range ones, everything. But at least by the time I've unlocked the engineer that can do it, I should have the necessary materials to get the upgrade done. Straight away. Oh, it's popped. I cannot be that behind schedule. Okay, whatever, this one. I think we're scanning wakes from the previous salvo of ships. Oh, you swine. The moment we get one, we are frickin' leaving. You won't, I will not be able to get out of here quick enough once we pick up this last data mine. <laughs> it's elusive, isn't it? It's like the game knows we only want one. There's another one right in front of me. Okay, so the eccentrics are gone. Where did that pop? Was it this one? It was. Worst one. Have we ever had to wait this long in between data mines before? Come on, it's time. 
to pay out. Come on, before my heart gives up on me. Jesus freaking hell. I'm on bored time here. It's gone quiet. You guys still around, or have I just sent you all to sleep? The moment we pick up one more, guys, we are out of here, and we're caught up. Oh, don't get much of a break though. Next one is there. Yeah, at least they don't keep us waiting for like 30 seconds to a minute in between each load. So I guess that's a good thing. At this rate, we could go back to Diagwandri, and on the way back in, scan a ship that's just leaving Ray Gateway, and it'll have one. <laughs> ah, work, okay. Different time zones. I really want to leave here. Next time I come, I'll bring food into this distribution center, if you just give me one more. I'll bring some sandwiches and, a, and an apple. Or a Christmas hamper. At least we got, well, we got full up on one of the wakes, didn't we? Uh, wake, 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 wakes. Yes, it was the grade four eccentric hyperspace that filled up before anything else. <clears throat> That's insane. But not really, because we needed less of them, right? They, they, they do appear less frequently, but we also needed only half as many to fill up the bin. And if we get, if we pick up three more atypicals, that bin's going to be full as well. Because there's only eight left in that bin. Eight spaces. There you go, there's two of them. So, one more atypical, and that bin is full. And I'm, I'm going to fill it. Even if this next one is a, a data mine. I'm going to fill it. It's the most common one, it's going to... We're probably going to get it in, even in this one. I don't see the data mine appearing before. <clears throat> so we'll have two full bins on this. Is it going to fill it now? Yes, it does. Don't suppose we got a data mined with that, did we? No. <clears throat> Anomalous FSD. Right, two bins full. How long would you have to stay here to fill up the data mined wake exception bin? 
don't even want to think about it. Come on, please. Oh, should we jump out and back in again? This fruit machine ain't bearing fruit anymore. We get it, okay? They're rare. We, we get it. We understand. But this is taking the pee. No! Two blanks. We're going to get that message quite a bit now with these atypicals coming in. All the eccentrics. It's just the message that we can't put any more in the bin because we're full on them. Four bins we filled today with materials and, and wake data. Okay, come on, let it be this one and we can just go. We never have to see or speak again. <clears throat> Until the next time I need to come here for another FSD. Imagine if the goal was to fit one of these pre-engineered FSDs onto every single ship that we're going to own. Because I... Th mm. It depends how I configure the Python. But I'm thinking... If I configure it in a certain way to carry a certain amount of cargo but still keep it, you know, combat ready kind of thing, then I could, in effect, get rid of my T6, okay, which is one less ship. It means I don't have to put a pre-engineered FSD on that. Yeah, if we go for a pre-engineered on, on every ship we own, on every ship we buy, that would be a good way to do it. Without, that way we just have to grind one at a time. This time we've had to do two, two together. And even on that, we're only grinding one of the materials that we need. You know? Because we need four things. To engineer an effort uh, to end no to buy to un yeah to buy a pre-engineered FSD in the four items we're only grinding one here the others are a little bit more easier to come by let's face it anything's easier to come by than a data mind wake exception I can't believe how long we're waiting for here this last one this is taking the pee now literally taking the piss. But I am going to have it, by hook or by crook, I'm having it. Oh, I'm really asking for it here. Come on, be kind. Kind, be nice. I will be sitting in that python today. Oh, we'll follow him out, guys. Boom, straight away. Look at that. Is that going to be our data mind? Come on. 
It's like I'm, I'm imprisoned in this distribution center until I find it. I'm in a locked room and the door doesn't open until I pick up a data mind wake exception. That's what this feels like. Escape room. Mr. Faulty. I want to go. Oh. Don't you dare. Don't, don't. Keep looking at the data mine number and it still says 35 and we need 36. It's good. This is singularly the worst one we've ever done. The, 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 the wait time between all the others was not this long. This is the worst one. It knows. Maybe, maybe I can try some reverse psychology on it. Oh, I know, guys. Let's uh, stick around and try and pick up a hundred data mines. That's what we'll do. So we only need 65 more. Shh, don't, don't tell it. It'll think that we're telling the truth and it will give us one here. Yeah, we're looking for 65, so let's see if we can at least get three here. If I can... Oh. Only 65 to go. <laughs> can you hear me, game? Uh, sometimes I think you can. Oh, this is mental. This is absolute nuts. It should not be this infrequent. I get that data mines are rare, I get it. But I could have I could have found a, a lost Picasso by now. There is one in a in a vault in a Swedish bank. Swiss bank, sorry. Swedish <laughs> Well maybe there is, I don't know. There's one in a there's there's a lost Picasso in a in a vault in a in a Swiss bank. De safety deposit. Trust me. There's one there. There has to be. It's been there since nineteen forty four and it's still there now. And it's not getting moved out be Yeah. Right. Come on, Pablo, give me something. This is insane. A hundred and one things you could do with your time other than scanning for data mind wake exceptions. Number one, watching a puddle evaporate. Number two, the popular choice, watching paint dry. Number three, looking out of the window to see if there's anything going on. If I pick one up, guys, there will be no words. <laughs> we just leave. 
I really do feel like instancing out of here and back in again. Because this is just... It's like the wells run dry. Absolutely. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bugger. I have to keep looking when I see those just in case a data mind came in the package. Like maybe we got a an atypical and a data mind together. And so the message comes up about it being full, but now nah, we're not that lucky. So it's going to have to be this one then. instance I promise you I will just that pitching up there really slows the ship down yeah what we want has has to appear up on that top right corner there but you know, as opposed to the f data full messages. <sighs> now we're contesting with two full bins plus blank, blank ones. Right, if there's nothing in this one, we're jumping out and in. I might even jump into the other distribution center. Because there's another one right next to us. So this is your last chance saloon here, boy. You give me one here or we'll go into the other one. Oh, that guy just jumped out right in front of me. Where's his wake? It's got to be here, man. Nope, wasn't that one. It was that one. Last one. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. No game demands this, the time of a player like this with no results, no game. Excuse me? Uh, um... Wait a minute. There was two... Oh, no, you don't. There was two distribution centers here. We just literally jumped out of one right here. And it ain't here. And neither is the other one. Oh, let me guess. They just come and go, right? Just... They're not here all the time. What? What is this game playing at? I don't understand. No, I don't understand that at all. As far as I'm aware, they do not have time limits. Let's get away from this planet, otherwise it's going to slow us right down. Oh. Hey, who knows? We jump in this new one, we might get we might get it straight away. Boom. <laughs> right.
Right, where's the uh, where's the wakes there? Okay, so on the bins that we haven't filled, we have 141 anomalous FSDs with 109 remaining. Strange wakes, we have 86 with 114 remaining. Data mined, 35 with 65 remaining in their respective bins. The other two uh, atypicals and eccentric hyperspaces are full to the brim. Yeah, we could. Can you trade these? I'm not going to. I want. I want it from the distribution center. Even if you could trade it, nope. It's personal now. Now I have to get this last one from here. It is an absolute must. It distributes food, but it ain't distributing wake scans. I wonder if there's any um, decent blue liveries for the Python. I know you can get one that's like just plain blue. Um, and I know we have, like I said before, I know we have the Azure, which I believe comes FOC, uh, free of charge, so is there any others? That is the question, my dear Watson. Distribution. Now you're going to be kinder to me, aren't you? We're going to jump in, we're going to wait for the first four wakes, and we're going to get the last data mined on one of those first four. Aren't we? Yes, we are. That's exactly what's about to happen. Isn't it? <laughs> Is it just me that it just, just ends up talking to my game like this? I don't know what it is with the chat guys, what's going on? It's like everybody's made a concerted decision. This is the time when nobody's going to speak anymore. And nobody's doing it. Where are you guys? <gasps> the hell? the hell kind of a jump in is that? If that had been my diamond back, I would have been crackling and blowing up right there. Jesus. Freaking hell. I can afford to run on two pips because of the speed that I have. And we'll get those shields back up. Okay, so we got four ships here. Let's just pick one. I don't know where they're going. AW2. Alan Wake. Yeah, I mean, the chat was going okay, and then suddenly just everybody stopped all at the same time. <laughs> I think maybe, I don't know, is it me? Is it the gameplay? I would understand. I would understand. All gone off to do something else. It's cool. I'm going to get this anyway. It's turned into... Um, I'm playing, so I'm streaming now. I'm just getting this thing. Project Python is... 
in need of uh, being started. We need a name for, for the python as well. I know what it is guys, I know why. Frontier's watching me play and someone's gone into the server and removed data mind wake exceptions <laughs> from the game so that they can't be spawned. It's something they can do really quickly by logging in and just switching off data mind as a spawnable item. That's what it is, guys. It's the only explanation. What's that song, guys? It's the only explanation I can find. Your love puts me at the top of the world. Yeah, I'm looking down on creation. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Who sang that, anyway? I'm on the top of the world looking down on creation. Who, who, who sang that, guys? Anyone know? G'day, Kiwi! Ooh, was that an Australian accent? I don't think. Uh, or New Zealand accent, sorry. I don't think so. There's probably a difference, but if there were... It is the Carpenters. Ah, uh, I was going to guess. That would have been my first guess. And then it would have been... I don't know why, but I would have said Chicago or something, but yeah, Carpenters. Yeah. She had a great voice, that Karen Carpenter, didn't she? Very good voice, very good, very good. Wake scanning in the USA. Wake scanning in the USA. Oh, actually we've been doing, with the stuff we originally, what am I doing? With the stuff we originally came here to look for, uh, Kiwi, which was the pharmaceuticals, we did really well on those, uh, found the sweet spot on those, and just filled the bin, absolutely filled it, and, uh, and now we're just looking for one more data mind wake exception, which is incredibly elusive. It's like trying to find some friggin' pink Pokemon in a bush somewhere. What was that craze that was going around, guys, where people would be walking out in the streets with their phones looking for these friggin' Pokemon? What the hell was all that about? Adults, grown adults doing this. Yeah, the internet, guys, it's... it's Excuse me, sir, we believe you're loitering. No, I'm just looking for a, a Pokemon. Pokemon Go, is that, oh, is that what that was? You still do? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it must have been something pretty addictive then, because... There's a thing. Oh, really? Oh, that's a good idea, Andy, yeah. To give gamers exercise. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with that. That sounds good to me. Yeah. That sounds fine to me. That's a good thing. It's needed. Pokemon, go and get yourself out the house. You lazy basket. Right, I didn't know it was designed for that, but uh, that's actually a good idea then. Unless people went out in their cars, or did you have to walk or something? I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. 
I did not know that. It is good information that you have given me, comrade. No, right. But there will be no prisoner exchange. I'm riffing now, guys. Um, no data mines. I'm getting... My, my riffing ability is just gone. guy in Jamaica talks to his friend and he says, hey, how do I wake your wife up? Pokemon? <laughs> no, Pokemon? <laughs> no! Rusty, stop. Because these jokes are getting just too, too bad now. <sighs> right. The sooner we get this data mined, I think the better for all of us, right? Yes! Somebody give me a hallelujah. Yeah, Jesus, get me the hell out. Plot me a route to Deer Gwandry, avoiding all major highways. Oh my god. Oh. Lips. Where's that gone? <laughs> and to think, when we put these FSDs on, we'll only have two data mind wake exceptions left. I do have a little thought though, I'm just going to bring up uh, Coriolis on my uh, thingy here. Oh, guys we're out, we're gone. Oh, it's like being freed from prison. Wait a minute, where are you going? Six jumps, so, okay. Oh right, there it is, I didn't see the little circle for the next jump, there it is. Right, so, the Pithon, normally 56 million, we're going to get it for a lot less. Uh, the Python has a frameshift drive, class 5. Okie dokie. But so does the Diamondback, guys. Right? So, if I say we only need one and we can chop and change it out when we need, because the Diamondback has already got the full grade upgraded Felicity Farseer drive. So if we just put the engineered one on the Python, we can save one for the next ship, whatever that's going to be. But it does mean, and I know you guys are going to kill me, it does mean that we didn't have to collect all those data mines. Like, we had to collect some of them, but we didn't need all of them. But yes, the Diamondback and the Python have got the same size FSD. So, I'm, I, because the, because the uh, Diamondback has got the superior jumps, jump range anyway, we can keep the Felicity one in the Diamondback the pre-engineered in the Python, and if we ever need to go exploring in the Diamondback, we can just swap them around, right? And then the Python will still have a decent jump range on it. And then when the... which we won't need, because we'll be out in the Diamondback, out in the black, so it won't affect us at all. When we come back with the Diamondback, we can swap the modules back over again. And they can do a module sharing scheme. But it doesn't mean that the wake exceptions we've picked up will go to waste. Not at all. We can buy two of these FSDs and we can uh, we can uh, we can put one on the next ship we do that maybe has a different class slot. So we can have a a, a class five one 
Oh, or do they only do class five guys? Fish lips. Oh yeah, you can still put the math manager on as well. That doesn't negatively affect anything, right? Oh, I hope I've got the stuff now to do the math manager. That would kill me if I don't have that. If I still have you. Let's have a look. So, core internals. Mm, frame shift. And we want experimental. And we're looking at mass manager. Oh no! We've got plenty. Yeah, we can do. Guys, one of the things that we need for the mass manager is the atypical disrupted wake echoes. We've got 300 of those. The other one is the other wake, eccentric hyperspace trajectories, the grade four. That's the two with the full bins. We've got 150 of those. The other item that we need for mass manager is the galvanizing alloys. Three required, we have 102. We're good, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, well, as long as there's no negative effects because it's already pre-engineered. So yeah, it's got it's pre-engineered, but not. It hasn't got pre-experimented stuff on there, right? Okay. And then if we add the Guardian FSD booster onto the Python as well, well, let's see what the jump range turns out to be. I'd like it to be something at least. I don't know what it's capable of, but. Is that kind of Python do like high 30s, low 40s, mid 40s? Is it capable of that? I don't know. We will have to find out as we play the game. Oh, brother. Last couple of days though, okay. We've had to grind a little bit there at the end with those data mines, but it's been productive in terms of what we've done. In terms of Commander Oliver Hardy's progress in the game. I mean, now 1.4 billion in the bank, a Python coming in the next couple of jumps. And um, we've got enough materials to do... Uh, some some engineering on it as well which is really good so i'm going to have a look here at the utility mounts is it yeah utility mounts and we want to have a look at bloody 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 frame shift wake scanner and we want grade five either fast scan or long range doesn't make any difference okay so already we can upgrade that with Jury Ishmac, but Jury Ishmac only goes to grade three. Um, now, if I go to grade three with Jury, I don't know if we were to go for the long range FSD, which I would like to put on before I go and scan some more data mines in another distribution center. I want it to be that the next time I go to one of those places, that we've either got a, a fast scan or a long range. Um, long range certainly seems to be preferable, um, but there are two engineers only that can do grade five. One of them's in Colonia, so that's out. The other one is Tiana Fortune, and Tiana Fortune in the hierarchy of engineers, well, that's not good because first we have to do Liz Ryder, then Heratani, and then Heratani unlocks Brew, Tarquin, and Tiana Fortune. So we've got to unlock two engineers before we can even reach Tiana Fortune. Yeah, it's like that. So that's something to work towards uh, to unlock that group of engineers so that we can get to do the uh, grade five 
uh, scanners, such as kill warrants, cargo scanner, manifest scanner, and um, and the and the wake scanner. We can either like kill warrant scanner. I'm going to want two second scan on that for sure. No other no other mod. That's have to be two seconds. So when you're in the hazres, you go up to the ship and bzz, you buzz him, you scan him, you shoot him, and he's gone. Because there's been a few situations where the guy's been down to 30% hull, his shields are gone. I need to partake in the firing in order to get paid. And with a 10 second scan, you don't have time to, to kill Warren scan him in 10 seconds because he's, he's already blown up. So a two second scan you need for that. For the wake scan, uh, I don't know how far a grade five wake scan can reach but if it's anything 10 kilometers or something like that uh, is it that far i don't know but that would be that would be good um let's have a look so who did we say tiana fortune right so let's have a look tiana right tiana fortune grade five kill warrant scanner Ah, uh, okay, I got you. So, long range gives us... ...a hundred and twenty percent. Okay, so what's the default? Well, it must be three kilometers, because that's what I have on mine, and I don't have it engineered. So, three kilometers, so a hundred percent of that would be six kilometers, Add another 20. What are we looking at? Seven kilometers? Yeah, we'd still have to move around then. Just not as much. We could do it on top speed. We wouldn't even need to boost anywhere. We could just simply move around and just move a little here and there. It's not enough range to give us... A, a scenario where we'd be in a distribution center and not have to move at all. It's not quite that far. But 120% is a big increase. 50% more power draw, 30% less angle. Not too fussed about the angle, that's not really going to make any odds to me. But what do we have to do to get to Liz Ryder? Oh boy, she's going to be the first one that we need to do. I want to see what the requirements are for Liz Ryder. Mm. And maybe, whatever it is, maybe the Python can help. Dolly C, Oscar Lima Zero. Please approach the station at a safe speed and be mindful of other pilots in the area. <sighs> Okay, well that's on my left hand side, there it is. Okay, so here we go. Lovely. Right guys, let's get a python. Oh! Right, I'll need two seconds and I'll be back. All right. Low 60s? 
Jesus, I, I won't have a loadout anywhere near to make it capable of that. Because it's gonna have, it's gonna be multi-purpose. It won't be like super lightweight or anything like that. So I'm gonna have to settle for forties. In fact, I'll settle for forties. Okay, so I want to be on this screen and this one. Right, engineers. All right, this looks an easy one. You learned about this rather through common knowledge. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, but then we're going to have to use a donor ship and put missiles on it, or mines, so we can engineer up to grade three and a third so that she can introduce us to the next one in the list. You gained access to Liz Ryder because the Euribia Blue Mafia invited you. Uh, okay, so we don't know the system she's in. I can find out. Um, and then what we can do is go... She's in... Eur oh, she is in Euribia. Okay. All right, so after Liz, it's... Right, it's Etienne, Dawn and Heratani at the same time. Because one's in Colonia, one isn't. So Heratani is the next one. Talk to me. Will they be on this list? No. All right, let's have a look. Heratani. Reach level 3 and 33% with Liz Rider. Gain access by reaching Imperial Navy rank of Outsider or higher. Initial contact, 50 tons of Kamitra cigars, oh yeah. Okay, so, once we've done that, uh, this is going to be a just blast, isn't it? Oh my goodness. And then Tiana Fortune is reach level 3 with Heratani. Gain access and become friendly with the Empire. Okay. 50 units of decoded emission data. All this to come, folks. Where the hell did we get that from? It's grade four. Where the hell do you get that from? Uh, okay. Decoded emission data. have a look here. Go to materials and decode it. Oh, come on heart, don't do this to me. <sighs> scan combat ships, scan authority ships, scan settlement data points, data beacons found in encoded emissions. Okay. Right. Python time. Oh, hold on. Cargo. Oh, shoot. That can't be right. How is it I have a T6 with no cargo? What did we use this for then? It's empty. Guys, if there was something engineered here, would it show up? Oh, like with a little thing? Let's have a look. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we can ditch that T6.
Right, I'm just going to have a quick look on this Coriolis, guys. I wanted to see uh, what's going on. I'm going to bring you in as well. Eventually. Oh, that wouldn't be correct. So, T6 kitted out as cargo, takes 56 tons of cargo, including a shield. And a python will definitely do a lot more than that. If we cargo a python up, 144 tons. If we want it to be a little bit of a trader thing, uh, we've got shields on there. Obviously, that's going to be a 6A. Uh, sorry, 6C by weaves. Um, hard points, don't know yet. And frame shift drive, obviously. I don't know if they have the experimental one on here. It doesn't look like it. But we can get an idea. And then uh, I guess it would be a... F well, we've got three sixes here, guys. So obviously shield, shield, scoop and can we get a guardian fsd boost of that size i don't know no it's only up to a five okay so cool we'll Put it in here. How far down? Okay, so Guardian frame shift drive booster five. So even then, we're only looking at 40 light years. And I've still got E rated stuff on here. I'm, it's going to be heavier because I'm going to have seven A power plants. I'm going to have six A thrusters. I can have 4D life support. Sensors are going to be 6A, and then we're going to have biweave shields here, 60 biweaves. I don't know if we went past them. 60 biweaves, cargo rack is going to be gone, and that's going to get replaced with a field scoop, a big bugger. I don't know whether we need one that big, but it's going to get on. We can go with 6A, it doesn't weigh a damn thing. Um, oh, what happened there? Oh yeah, no, it's right. Yeah, shield scoop. And then in here, we can maybe fit uh, like a guardian shield thing. Whatever it's called. Guardian shield reinforcement. Just to protect that. And then the rest. Oh, this can be cargo actually. Cargo in there. How did that happen? Okay, so now cargo is 128. It's just me badly clicking on the mouse there. And then we have to look up here. Two mediums, three large. For the large, I want to go with the least power draw, so I'd probably put multi cannons here and a couple of pulse lasers here, or maybe maybe thermal beams or something. And then utilities, we can have a heat sink in case we get interdicted and we need to just be 
quiet. Um, I don't know, I was going to say maybe point defense, but also a kill warrant scanner as well. Because I want to use it for combat as well as trade. I want a combat trader ship. Okay. How about we uh, actually buy one first? That might be a good thing. Right, let's go buy a, a, a python, guys. What a jump. Diamondback, Cobra, Python. Yeah, this is going to be a... I want, I want this thing to be able to go into a Hazrez and do its thing, but also be able to trade with a, at, least, at least 100 cargo. Oliver Hardy has the biggest ship yet of his career. The Python. Oh, guys. I don't know how many A-rated modules are here at Ray Gateway, but uh, we'll do our thing. First thing we're going to do is go to the human thing. The human... Are we going to do another seven-hour stream? Because it's coming up there, isn't it? We're on six at the moment. Freaking hell. Um, we've got a couple of universals to sell, I think. Sure. <laughs> right, okay. Um, so, livery. Something old, something borrowed, something blue. Now then, what about this Crypsis? Interesting, okay. Interesting. I don't have enough arcs. Why is it so expensive just for one livery? Okay, Crypsis. This is a pack. What if I don't want the pack? That's nice. I like that. Extraction and rescue. I like the look of that. It's nice. Galvanized cobalt. That doesn't work too bad on a python actually. And that's affordable. That's not too bad on a python. The old galvanized cobalt looked incredible on a, on a cutter. It just looked the business. Hazard support. I'm telling you now, some of these liveries... Oops. Some of these liveries, guys, on a python, they look really nice. Even that. I like that one. It's about as all-round as you can get. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm kind of an all-rounder. We need to grab some more arcs, don't we, guys? We can do that. That's not a problem. Oh, there's so many nice liveries. Stop clicking the right button, Rusty. Yeah, there's so many nice liveries here, guys. Why, are this, why is it that so many liveries on the Python seem to work. They just seem to look decent. Uh, some of them do anyway. And on other ships it just doesn't work. It's like, see here, right? It's like a yellow. If you put yellow on a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, it works. It, it can pull it off. But if you put it on a little hatchback, it's like, nah. That's not... It depends on the hatchback, but yeah, in general, it's like this. It's like these paint jobs. A lot of them are working on this Python. Really nice. See, I don't like these ones. Palm trees. I mean, it's no, it's not my thing. That. Yeah, that kind of space grey with the blue. Oh my goodness, what the hell. This is for when you've been, you know, smoking a little bit that night. And you look at this and you think, that's nice. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't look as good here on the, as it does on the little thumbnail. Predator blue. 
It's a little bit too bright for me, a little bit too baby blue. That's nice. I do want to go blue though. Salvage blue. Um, that could have done with an extra color. Yeah, some of these are all right. Now I'm surprised how many liveries there are for the Python that actually really look actually quite good. So this is your standard stock, but I like that there's a lot of, I don't know what to say, trim is the wrong word, but that it's trimmed like that, the, what's the word? Not highlights, accentuated, is that the right word? With black? Anyway, yeah, there's black bits is what I'm trying to say. There's black bits along with the blue. It's not too bad. And this livery doesn't cost anything, man, to have this on. This is a really cheap livery. That's actually not too bad. I don't know what all these, why it looks like a Christmas tree here. Okay. So yeah, Vibrant Blue is your kind of plain, plain Jane paint job. But, uh, what the hell was that? What was that? Oh, corroded. I was going to say. <laughs> that doesn't look bad, guys. <laughs> I would, when I first saw it, just then, when I glanced at it, I thought, I didn't even think about it as being a corroded one. Mm. <laughs> so the Crypsis isn't too bad. I like this one. Not that I'll be extracting or any rescuing anything, but I kind of like that one. Yeah, these work, these galvanized ones work nice. Malachite. Yeah, okay. Yep, this isn't, that's not blue though. But this one is. Um, that's very bright. Don't normally go for the bright ships, but I could make an exception. Part 10 item pack. Yeah, kind of cool, except when you don't want the other nine. This one's tempting, I have to say. How long, how many arcs before I can get it? I'm at 1967. 2220 is the target. I'm only allowed 400 a week, and I think I've already capped that one. I won't be getting any more. They should. Do you guys think not think they should raise that cap a little? Ah, oh, that's nice, man. There's a blue version of that, right? Hmm. So for me, it's a toss-up between the vibrant blue, which is the plain one. No, I like this. I like that too. There's some nice paint jobs here, guys. But this is part of a pack, so that's that's out. That's too too far out of the budget. Same as this one. The Crypsis. It is cool. It's not bad. But I am going for that one. Let's go get some arcs, guys. Right. I'm on the... Oh, Jesus, nearly fell off there. Right. Let's buy... That. Right, I'm just going to log in. So it's Oliver Hardy account. So it's that one. This is the livery. Because remember, I did tell her to get a blue python ready. Wait a minute, it says my balance is 1967. Okay. Is it in my cart? 
What's happened here? Oh, I have to click it again, I think. There we go. All right, new payment. Uh, no, the card you have on record is good to go. Go. You'd be taking PayPal, though, you buggers. Security code. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I'm going to guess it. I think it's that. Come on. Your transaction has failed. Uh, wait a minute. Oops, I did put the wrong code in. What a prick. Please try again. Right, how do I do that then? Do I go back or do I refresh? Back. Yeah, there we go. So I'll put the correct number in. I was close, but no cigars. No Kamitra cigars for me. Right, so it, it appears I'm buying 8,400 arcs and I get 420 bonus, so 8,840 or something on top of this. Your arcs has been updated and is available to spend in game. Your balance 1967. Well, it freaking shouldn't be. Okay, 10,787. So, how much did I get in the end of the day then? Hold on. Did I get that bonus? 10, 7, 8, 7 minus 1967. 8,820. Yes, I did. Okay, so we're going to need to come out of here, I guess. And out of here. How far out do we need to go, guys? Main menu? Ah, oh, it's just done it. Okay, we got it. Now, because we have... Ah, oh, I might not have enough. I was thinking about, you know, that ship kit with the radar dish on? <laughs> All right, let's take a look. I don't think I'll have enough arcs for that. I think Frontier kind of priced those really high. Uh, All right, let's go for this then. So, oh, paint job. We want... This fella, Mechanist Blue, and buy that. All right, very good. And next one is weapon detailing. <coughs> if we put lasers on, we can go with blue lasers on though. Let's go for the, oh, we gotta buy those as well. No, okay, we'll leave that as it is. I ain't doing that. Engine detailing, orange. Verity can stay for now. Uh, what's the choices? Greetings. Greetings, Commander. This is Victor, your cockpit voice. What about Spanish? Saludos, Comandante. Me llamo Luciana y soy su asistente de voz en cabina o a boca. Estoy aquí para ofrecerle información de los sistemas y respaldo analítico a lo largo de su viaje. Soy un elemento estándar ofrecido por la Federación de Pilotos. Greetings, yeah, okay. Commander. Ich grüße Sie, Kommandant. Dies ist Gerhard. Greetings, Saudações, Kommandante. Greetings, Commander. Look at these. This sounds more robotic and it's 8,800. Greetings, Commander. Greetings, Commander. This is Eden. Greetings, Commander. This is Celeste. Greetings, Commander. This is Karina, your cockpit voice assistant. Yeah, more like Marina. Installed. Greetings, Commander. This is nope. Jefferson. Greetings, Commander. This is Leo, your cockpit. Greetings. Right, let's stick with Verity. Okay. Um, I don't think we can do this, guys. No, 13,000. Look at that dish. It's stuck on there like a stag beetle. What on earth are those first two? Shouldn't we have a view of the front of the ship for this? To see these in its... Oh, that doesn't fit. 13,000 arcs, man. Come on. 
Yeah, this is kind of... It's a bit unwieldy though, isn't it? It's a bit big. That's a bit big for the ship. Okay. Do we have to pay for decals as well? Not the ones we've earned, right? So we do have exobiology, we've got that. Don't know whether I want to put it on there though. Kind of spoiling the look. No, it's just not it's not gonna work there, it's gonna spoil it. Um Oh you bastard. Oh you just got a pain in my left side there. Right. <clears throat> okay. Human tech broker, guys. Human tech broker is what we want. So, Inara, let's go get that grade one pre engineered, souped up FSD grade. It's version one, isn't it? It's called. So, uh, tech brokers. Technology broker, here we go. No, 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 no. Not nearest. All right, dear Gwandry. Right, for some reason, first time I went into Inara today, I, uh, was able to do this immediately find the nearest tech broker I don't seem to find the same screen that I was looking at before human, right, but it's not asking me where the nearest one is <clears throat> where do we go? oh god causing me anxiety this search nearest Oh, I know. Wait a minute. Okay, let's do this. It is human tech broker, right? Yeah, I know that, Kiwi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, human tech. Oh, no. We were looking for material traders last time. Okay. There must be a way of saying, of asking it where the nearest tech broker is. Right, engineered frameshift drive. Okay. Where are you, you bastards? Guys, help me out here. Find nearest. Oh, is it here? If you put in... Oh, maybe it's just tech? Okay. Okay, there you go. I was just typing in human. Didn't like that. Right, there's a Guardian one right here in Ray Gateway. But we need human. So yeah, this one. 32 light years away. That's going to be a few jumps in the old thing. But that's not a problem. So we need this one. There we go. Let's go there. It's going to be a few jumps in this. And we can only do it when we fit. Oh well. I mean, if we can't even buy a 5A. Pfft. 
Right, let's see if the place we're going to with the broker has what we want, which is a 5A frame shift drive. Unbelievable. Core internals, frame shift drive, 5A. They have it. Apparently. Okay, I'm going to take my chances on this and say that you're right. In the meantime... The fuck? In the meantime... Awesome. Uh, we can put a, a B on. No, nah, it's worth a million. Forget it. Alright, we we'll have to do a few jumps here, guys, unfortunately, because we have a crap <coughs> FSD. Um, so there's, this is a stock, a stock Python at the moment, but we need to put on the 5A before we do... Oh, what am I talking about? And of course we don't. Jesus. Because <clears throat> we're, we're... 11? No. That's not happening. Yeah, no, of course we don't have to put on a... Uh, a thing. What we can do, if we really wanted, is to go and take the diamond back to go get it. Bring the diamond back with it and then swap it onto the Python and then transfer the old FSD back to here. But we won't. What we'll do is we'll go in here, go to outfitting, go here, go here, and replace with a B. Okay. Do you mind? Repot. Oh my goodness gracious me. Get it. Three jumps. Oh, what a, a slight difference then, eh? Let's go. Also, if we can buy the 6A thrusters in this other place as well. Uh, that'll be cool because that way we can just go to watch its face. And um, get the thrusters upgraded. And then that's mission complete for me. Well, for a stock python, she's feeling very smooth. Current jump range... 14. That's going to increase a little then, I guess. Whew! Where are we now, guys? 6 hours 25! Until next time, Commander. You... So nice to have a Python now and money in the in the kitty. What do we have now? Are we into the one billion threes? Yeah we are. And the rebuy cost has gone up. <laughs> Not going to worry us as of yet. Agent 47. Yeah. We'll get the whole thing kitted out as well as we can. I just hope Dear Guangri doesn't have just a shed load of A-rated, A-rated. 
But what I'll do is I'll go to Inara because this is where Inara is really cool. You can put in all the modules that you want to upgrade with. So you've got like your 6C shields, your 5A this and your 6A that and all that. You put it all in and it can tell you the station that stocks all of the items. Preferably at a discount. Mm. Doesn't Coriolis do something like that? Um, oh, I think, doesn't it just list materials needed to build this ship or something and then you, I don't know, can you feed that into an hour or something? I can't remember if there was a link to that, a way of linking those things. Yeah, but I think do the build in Coriolis, at least for the cores and the internals, get those done. Not going to focus on the hard points yet. Do those and then try and find a place that will stock all of it in one go. Preferably in a Li Yong Ryu system because we get discount. Right? I am truly alone. Okay, I think it's here we have to go. Double checking. Yeah, the technology broker is here. Oh, how does she look, by the way? Well, she's different. It's definitely different. We'll have to just invent this character, Oliver Hardy, who just has different tastes to Rusty. <laughs> Doesn't mind a splash of color and squares and checkerboard patterns here and there. Oh, we're going to need an SRV in this thing as well, aren't we? Yeah. So we're going to have to put an SRV in. Fuel scoop. Plenty of cargo. But I also would like some shield reinforcement as well. It's difficult because the more the more stuff you add into the internals to protect the hull and the shields, the less cargo you can carry. And I, I do want it to be a little bit more than just another combat ship. Two three, which is just above us on the left, if we go in the right way. Scan detected. at the comparison between the uh, the speeds as well. Whoa, slow down, slow down, baby. Whoa, what's happened? Not in the Cobra anymore, am I? Eventually we'll put some kind of kit on this. I like the long nose that goes on this one, that I have it on my rusty one as well. It's 
It's kind of cool. This is our reward for doing that 5,000 uh, trip, by the way. All right, so let's go here and see if Inara is correct or I read something wrong. So outfitting first. We have to fit two aerated modules now at least. And hope. Hope they're here. Okay. These are all but useless at the moment, so we can sell them. Oh, that was meant to be a cell, not a stored. What's here? Rubbish. This one is not engineered, right? Okay, we get rid of these. These are these are junk. And a four A that is not engineered. What is this? Oh, right, we'll leave those. I wonder if there's anything here that will fit on this ship. Because if not, I'm just going to junk it. No, nope, these E-rated ones, they get accidentally swapped out. 3A. Yeah, fine, but they're not engineered. So we don't need them. I only keep engineered stuff. Shield boosters. A rated. Okay. Saves buying them again, they'll be cheaper. Rasters. E rated. Good night. Right, yeah, I'm. Um, okay. What's this one again? Oh, that can go. All right then, so core internals, oops wrong one then, go back again, um, core internals then, so thrusters, I want six A's if you have them, thank you so much, <gasps> they're not cheap, stick them in there boy, frame shift drive, five A, nothing else, four million, Thank you. Live support. 4D, please. No. Jeez. Okay. Power distributor. Oh, this isn't going to come cheap. It's a class 7. Awesome. And they don't have the 7As. Oh. The price difference between the A and the B is going to be astronomical. I just know it. We don't... Yeah, okay. We're good for now. Power plant is an E-rated and there's nothing here, but we're going to need to up that. If you have a 7A, do you... I didn't think you did somehow. No. So anything that we're missing, we'll, we'll shop for at a different shop and uh, we'll pick them all up in one go. So up here... Uh, we, wait a minute. We got the main ones, right? We got the thrusters and the frame shift. Why did I buy it? Why did I buy a 5A frame shift, guys? Does anyone want to maybe explain that to me, why I just did that? Because I have no idea why. <sighs> okay, maybe I can use it later for engineering. I don't know why I just bought that. I was silly, but so let's go into contacts, tech broker, and we want 
that. Yeah, we can do it, baby. We got the goods. Oh, it adds it to your storage. Long range, fast boost. Okay. Right. Uh, engineered FSD version 1. Oh! The, so the one that they're talking about right now with the Thargoid Titan drive components. Mm. That's going to be a new FSD, isn't it? Is it going to be an engineered FSD V2? And if it is, does it mean a bigger jump range or does it does it just mean it may have, oh, I don't know, three engineerings on it? Can you do that? I don't know. Anyway, let's do this. It's That's ready. And we can still do another one. So we go back. We go to outfitting. We go to or Actually, we don't even need to do that. But go to stored modules. We have frame shift drive. Look at this baby. This one, good night. This one, equip. All right, so we've gone from 14, I think, isn't it? Yeah, 14, it was, with the, with the 5B, it was 14. With the 5A, it was 17. And now with a pre-engineered, we're on 29.96. All right, Felicity, we're coming. Get the kettle on. Um, so now if I go to stored modules, we've got the 5A there. I'm not going to sell it and buy another one later because it's a waste of money. We won't get the... If we sell it, we're going to lose money. I'm going to keep this here for the next time we want a Felicity one, if we ever come to do that. And then... Because I did say I wanted to pre-engineer pre them. Zonta, good night, matey. Have a good one. Take care, man. Yeah, I did say I wanted to pre-engineer them all. Or buy them all pre-engineered. Uh, but uh, we'll leave this one there for now. Because it is an A-rated one. So Okay, so we've got a 30 light year jump range on this now. For the sake of that. When we put the mass manager on, for sure we will. So we need to go see two engineers now, Felicity and Palin. Oh, and before we do that, let's take a look at how cool this is going to be. So, if we go back to the beginning, and we're searching for outfitting, right? So, we want... So what am I missing on my Python? Well, I am missing a 7A power plant. So we want a power plant, okay? We want to come down to 7A. I also need 4D life support. So we're going to add that now. And we want 4D. I also need a 7A power distributor. A pity it's not going to tell me how much all this is going to cost, but there you go. Power disk, 7A. The, these two class 7s are going to be expensivo. And what else? Sensors. We want 6A sensors as well. So let's go here. Sensors, we want 6A. All right then, so 6A. I think that's it for now. Um, okay, I'm gonna add Biweave Shields, class six as well. Oops, how did that happen? there. Okay, so we need a station that stocks all five of those items. And we're currently in 
Not so. Oh, you want me to spell that? Okay. I'll start spelling it. You fill the rest in, okay, Inara? Deal? There. Thank you. That's the place. All right. That's it. Odyssey Station is landing. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Go. Ah, look at this, man. This one. Low Enterprise. It's a jump away and it stocks everything we need at 15% discount. Bring it on, baby. Oh, scoop. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We can get that here, possibly. If not, I suspect Low Enterprise will also have it. Yeah, you're quite right, man. Scoopy scoop scoop for sure. So this I want to put, let's, I do want to put cargo racks on, but these are always, they're always in the wrong slots. I don't know what the hell game Frontier play here, but they have, they put class five cargo in class six slots and class four in class five slots. Why do they do that? What am I missing here, guys? This, right? We are going to need that, aren't we? Okay, so we're going to ditch all of these. As they're empty, they don't weigh a thing. Except for the shields. Alright, so we're going to do shields, scoop. And he is going to be the Guardian FSD booster. Can we put that on now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where does it go? If we've unlocked the Guardian FSD booster, isn't it going to be here all the time? Help me out here, guys. Uh, anyway, second slot. Scoop. Yeah, we want a 6A, don't we? They don't even have the D spec. Which would be nice and light. I'm going to travel to this new station and see if they've got it there. Because it's only a jump. Um, but yeah, if, we, if we've unlocked the FSD booster, surely it would be... Ah, advanced docking. That's the one that does the landing, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, surely it would be everywhere. Right? But clearly not. Maybe we... Yeah, we did unlock it, didn't we? We did all the Guardian thing. Okay, let's go to this other place, guys. Not bothered about fire groups yet. We're just flying at the moment. So, low enterprise in LTT17422. Where we're going. It's right here. And they apparently have everything that we need. Hopefully the scoop as well. Detach confirmed. Restrict speed until clear of the station perimeter. Oh, we don't have shields, do we? Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. We are shieldless, guys. But, but not for long. And then we go see we go see Farsia to put the mass manager on. We go see Palin to up the thrusters. And we're good. So current Actually it's not fair to take a reading of current speed, is it? Because we're gonna be adding weight. Okay, we'll do that later. Before we go to Palin, we'll take a measurement of top speed and boost. And we'll see what we end up with. Yeah, this Python's going to be a nice, a nice little one. And then, 
we'll sail around the outside of the bubble a little bit with it in the future and I'm gonna try and pick up some more guns and, and suits and stuff pre-upgraded hopefully pre-engineered and um, get down onto the ground okay where are we going low enterprise Alrighty, got to be careful with the old shieldless thing going on. This is not a livery I would normally pick, but okay. That's what all those dots were. It's the lights on the Python. <laughs> Man, did we did we, did we go up quickly? We were 90 million in the bank, building it up slowly and slowly. Then we had to fulfill Palin's requirement of 5,000, came back and popped 1.3, 1.4 billion into the, uh, into the balance. <laughs> increased the Explorer rank, increased our Exobiology rank. Yeah, we did, um, we did well on that. And it made for some content as well. Got some nice first discoveries. No earth likes, no black holes, but there you go. One day. Oh, I'd love to do a first discovery, like go into a system that hasn't been discovered before, but there's a black hole in it. That'd be awesome. But it would have to be secondary, wouldn't it? And you do get systems like that, right? Where they have a local star and a black hole is is a secondary one. Yeah, it's it's well. Let's put it this way: it ain't the primary one. You can get a lot of those in um, that group of A-class stars. Uh, in is it N? NGC 7822, is it that place? You know the one, like, it's in between here and the Witch Head Nebula, isn't it? Or just, it's around the Witch Head? You guys know the one I mean, right? There, there's, it's black holes everywhere there. I like the illumination here, that's nice. Yeah, we need, we need this power distributor done. All these insufficient things, that'll be gone in a minute as we sp spend a lot on this Python. And the current 3 million rebuy, that's going to go up. Oh, boy. And so is the amount we're about to spend on this thing. What about the hull, reinforced hull? Docking request approved. Set course for London pad 1A. Right at the back, on the upper left. Whoa, shieldless, shieldless. Okay. Looking at the mass of the system to get a black hole. Really? How? What would the mass say then? Would it be massive or or small? That's interesting. Okay. Does it tell you that on a galaxy map, even if you've not been to that system before? That's interesting. That is. Mm. Okay. So outfitting. Let's see if everything that we want is here. Sexy by weaves. Oh, have also for some reason the the adder is on the list. I don't know why, but sexy by weaves, 4D life support, power plant and power distributor class sevens, and six A sensors, and hopefully, uh, I just got all that lovely A rated stuff. 
the fuel scoop. I might have to get off here soon, guys, because I think my head's decided enough's enough. 33 million. I told you, it's 10 times the amount of the B. That is ridiculous. I'm expecting a similar cost for the uh, power distributor. Oh, we don't need that. Right, so we've done that. We've got a 4D life support, which you said was also here. Power distributor, we want a 7A. Go on, hit me with the bill. Oh, yes, it is consider considerably less, isn't it? I was for yeah, I was forgetting about that. Okay. So jump range up to thirty four now for some reason. Um <laughs> Sensors working overtime six A please. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so that's everything I came here for, is it not? It is. So now we check. Do you have the sexy bi-weaves and the fuel scoopies? Also, where the hell is the Guardian FSD? No, not fuel tank, you gimp. <laughs> oh, man. It's almost like I've never been to the Guardians. Oh, you swine. <laughs> uh, yeah, go on, go on, stick in there, go on. Uh, right, we do not have a scoop. We can put a 5A scoop on. Seven million now I'm not gonna get back. Right, I think frame shift drives would be, I think the Guardian FSD booster would come under the frameshift drives, right? But there's no frameshift drives here, guys. Or am I dreaming? Right. Inara, talk to me. We need to change our search, buddy. We are looking for a fuel scoop And we want a 6A. We're also looking for a Guardian FSD booster 5H. And we are near. I don't know where. Where are we again? Uh, LTT 17422. One seven four two two. There you go. Oh, L seven seven. How did I type that, idiot? Okay. Right. So six A field scoop, Guardian booster, and an adder. Again. No. Go. All right. There's a couple of systems, but 
There's one a little bit further away, two jumps, which we're going to go to rather than... Actually, they're all two jumps. But this one is 15% discount, and the station distance from the sun, well, I don't think it gets closer. It's five light seconds, so it's right next door. Everybody in that station must be baking. But it's here. Three jumps. Okay. Right, so we've got to do this. Get the FSD booster on, we'll get even more jump range. And then, with that jump range that we've got maxed out, then we can go to the engineers. And it'll be done in less jumps. Docking coupling is engaged. Your way is cleared for departure. So now that we've got a lovely maxed out power plant, distributor, I can just pump this thing. I had it on two, that's why we're getting that message. Oh yeah. Jump range 32. <clears throat> not bad, not bad, not bad. If we get a, a, a five, FSD booster, grade 5, class 5, sorry. We'll be able to add 10.5 onto that. So, yeah. We'll be just into the early 40s. And then when we add other stuff, that might drop a little. When we add the weapons and stuff like that. So, it might settle around 40 if we're lucky. But we've got to put the mass manager on yet as well. So, there is that. Right, into the fish fish sector then. Is it pisk? Oh, is that? No, it's pesk, isn't it? To do with fish. Okay, never mind. <sighs> space madness, guys. Space madness. I'll shut up. Right, so this is the place then we need to go, and uh, ooh, my head's getting dizzy. Too much gaming, guys. Seven hours, seven hour streams twice in a row. We are 55 seconds away from seven hours. been six hours had it not been for that last data mine wake frickin' exception. That took all of our time. <laughs> it was crazy that last one. Okay, we are here. No, is it? Oh, it is this one. Yeah, this is really close to us, guys. We could probably see it from here. The sun's in the way. Onu Franco, eh, comrade Onu Franco. Frienko. Radoslav Onufrienko. Oh, yeah. I need something to eat as well. Chicken tikka masala, I think, tonight for me. I had the uh, Kievs and the rice last night. And I'm all out of rice. Oh, I went out today. I should have gone and got some. I'm not actually out of rice. I've got the that stuff that you can boil for 20 minutes. I normally don't buy that kind, but... In a pinch, yes, I can do that. But I also have pasta! Please approach the station at a safe speed and be mindful of the 
Wow, look at this. Boost speed right now. 348. Which means our little Cobra will s smack the hell out of this thing in a race. This Python wouldn't have a chance. The boost speed of this Python currently is slower than the top speed of the Cobra without boost. And that, my friend, is crazy. The Cobra without boosting top speed is 434 and this does 340 something. It would be annihilated. Right, where are we going? Back right. Back right. Back right. Mr. Back right. Oh dear. It is a good thing we got the shields. Ninety percent that went down too. I, I just grazed it. We need some uh, shield engineering done, don't we? We can't be taking this into combat until we get the shields operated. Okay, so this is our last shopping trip for parts for the moment. And we have come for two items, please. And then it's... I don't know, whichever one's closer. Pale in Felicity. Whoever's closer, we better have the kettle on. Because I'm a coming over. Right, okay. Um, what are we after? Sexy baby. Okay, and the other thing is the... Class 5 uh, FSD booster. Yeah, mama. 42.5 jump range, baby. Talk to me <laughs> like lovers do. Yeah, we should get some cargo racks in here as well, right? Because if we fill the rest out with cargo racks and we just engineer the shield, it'll it'll have a little bit of defense capabilities but not that much because we'll, we'll put some shield boosters in the utility slots I guess but I don't know for the hull we're gonna have to maybe just go old school and just do this but how expensive are these things man 114 million and 103 million military grade gives you a little bit more Mm. I, I don't want it to be like specifically a combat ship, but just if we're trading and we get interdicted, I want to be able to defend myself so I can protect my cargo. That's what I want. Uh, okay. Yeah, Thargoid. Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll outrun a Thargoid. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because I've, I've got my crate rigged up to outrun a Thargoid, my Xeno crate, and my my Cobra here is, is quicker than that crate. So yeah, yeah, it's it will. 42 jump range, guys, on this. I'm happy with that. If it can stay around that area, it's going to increase a little bit more now. Might get it up to 43, maybe 44, who knows. If my head can stand the trip to Desiat. So we need to go there, and we need to go, this is from memory, arc, right? <laughs> oh shit, they're both the freaking same. Okay, it makes sense to go to Desiat first, because we're getting uh, an addition on there just to increase the jump range a tad higher. So five jumps. Uh, we have the scoop, let's go. And I'm guessing, I don't know how many jumps it's going to be from Desiat, uh, from, yeah, from Felicity to, uh, 
Palin. This will be an interesting uh, lift. Ship detach complete. Restrict speed until clear of the station perimeter. What the hell was that, Rusty? I don't know. Oh! Ugh. Right. <laughs> no fear, the male slot master is here. Come on, brain, just give me a few more minutes and we're good. Yeah, what a jump, guys. I mean, Cobra. Well, Sidewinder we started with. Cobra. Diamondback Explorer. Well, T6, which we'll get rid of at some point. Diamondback Explorer. Python. <laughs> we jumped a bit, didn't we? But you have to have one of these in your fleet, right? It's such a cool multi-purpose. Of course I could have afforded an anaconda, but nah, nope, too much, too much of a jump. I want some in between these first. Nothing to say we can't pick up other ships in between the, uh, the Diamondback and the um, Python. You know, there's ships in between there. There's nothing to say we can't get those. Be interesting to fly a Mamba as well, because I don't normally fly that one. I find it a bit of a... It's a quirky looking ship compared to everything else. But yeah, it'd be cool to fly. to Felicities without scooping if we wanted to. Got a bit more jump range on the, uh, a bit more fuel range on this. Or can we? I don't know. Can we? Yeah, we can. We definitely can. So guys, on the chat, just so you guys can give me some interaction here. Orbit lines. Do you have them? Yes or no? Guys, in the chat, yes or no? Do you have orbit lines on when you play? Do you use the orbit lines, baby? Oh, that's a bad one, Mark. Well, maybe that's the reason why they're all everybody's nice to her. She reminds me of uh, Anne Robinson from The Weakest Link. Felicity. She seems to be that type of character. Yep, Kiwi guy uses uses them. Okay. Mark does not. Be interesting to get a a poll on that one. To see, you know, what the ratio is between people who use and people who don't.
Yeah, it helps with scooping. It does. That's, that was the reason why I used to leave it on for so long, but uh, I've gotten so used to scooping now, you know, where the limit is, that I don't need it anymore. So I, I took it off one day and I've managed without it since. So far, fingers crossed, I've been okay. Way down here, isn't she? There we go. Okay, Felicity, I'm bringing you a special drive here, so handle with care. I know you will. Wouldn't Farsia make a great name for an optician? Yeah, well, talking of immersion though, what's these vertical lines that we have on the screen, you know, on either side as we're traveling in Super Cruise? What's the need for those? Is that just to give you the impression of movement? To remind you that, yeah, you are moving? Because without them, right, it would look like... I don't think they disappear here, no. Without them, it would give... You would think because the... the because the galaxy is so freaking wide... There's no... The only, the only clues you have that you're move, moving is that, well, your ship's shaking and you've got a countdown on your vertical. I think it's just to give, give that impression of movement. That's the only reason I can see them being there. I don't see what any other purpose they could possibly serve. Centering, maybe? Helping keep... But I don't know. It's, I just use the reticle for centering. You don't notice them after a while, though. They kind of go away. I think orbit lines, well, actually, no, maybe not those. <laughs> yeah, they kind of. It's informative, though, isn't it? I don't know what these blue circles all are, though. Orbiting. Is there a moon orbiting each one of those? Who knows? Yeah, I, I do find it a little bit cluttered. It would be nice if there was three three stages, so you could toggle orbit lines on which is full on like this. Next stage would be scoop only, so only only orbit lines around the planets so for scooping only and and any getting near any planets and off. So like a three-way switch kind of deal. <laughs> yeah, cuz you know if you're driving down a narrow road with a wall on each side and you do 50 miles an hour, it's going to feel pretty quick because you've got a wall right next to you and it's very narrow. But if you traveled the exact same speed on a wide road, which was didn't have any walls, it was all open, it would feel a lot slower than driving down that narrow road with the walls, even though you're at exactly the same speed. And it's that perception of speed. So, and also the width of the road makes you feel like you're traveling slower because it's wider. So now if you, if you, and, you know, if you take that to the nth degree and incorporate a galaxy, galaxy-wide, you, you're going to feel like you're, you're traveling perfectly still against the night sky, completely. They make sense. Toggle them off if it's a busy system. Yeah, yeah, you can do that, can't you? Just toggle them on and off quickly if you need to scoop or something. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so we got here, we've got half a tank. We'll fill up here. Hello, Salisfacy. Safia. You and your big needle. Access granted. Proceed to landing pad zero two. Zero two acknowledged. Via taxiway Alpha, Bravo, Delta, Tango. Oh, my heart. 
Every day I've been feeling the presence, that's the only way I can describe it, of my heart more for the last couple of days. Weird. <laughs> What's going on in there? Blood pressure's not changing, it's not moving around. Weird. It's ticking all right. Right, here we go then. Right, so who told me we could get Mass Manager on this? I've just remembered now that somebody did say that they took that ability away. I'm going to screenshot that. Well, Felicity, while you are here... Um... Right, so this lowers integrity and target angle scan. It does not lower the, the range. Oh, you basket of fruit. Okay, I'm going for this one. So baby, talk to me. Oh, that, I tell you what, that, the fact that I can't do the FSD would not be a deal breaker for me about installing the game. Not, not in the slightest, it wouldn't bother me at all. Might as well get some done while we're here. See, this is this is uh, something that's a bit unfair on Frontier. I think if they're going to remove the ability to, to do it, maybe they haven't got the ability to do it, I don't know. But if they're going to remove the ability to add the mass manager, they should then take it off all the people who have it. Sorry guys, that's how I feel. It should be a level playing field. Uh, you know, we should all have equal, either leave it on or take it away from everybody. Not, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. You know, like, excuse me please, but no. It, it would be a, a bit of a bummer for people who've got it already. Uh, uh, obviously it would. But that's on Frontier. That's on Frontier. They messed that up. Okay, I don't think I'm coming to the right place here. Um... Hold on, head, hold on. I'm battling between head and heart here. Uh, Aileen. A-R-Q-U-E. A-R-Q-U-E. When I removed the legends from the galaxy map, did it do the same?
Yep, it must have done the same on the system map as well. Dry docks. Okay, put those on. You don't see too many of those that won't get in the way. I don't know what a Counter-Strike system is. It's where people go and play Counter-Strike, I guess. Don't have any squadrons here. That's another thing I don't have, system connectors. Those are. Okay, let's try again then. very much. Right, what I'm not sure of is what other materials I currently have to enable me to do any other engineering right now. Not now like on this stream, but like if we started a new stream another day, what could I already engineer? I don't know. That's something I'm not even going to look at. I'll find out another time. Mm. I mean, this the drive is still double engineered. It has the fast boot, right? Disengaged. Commence departure. So it has the increased thingy thing thing, and then it's got the fast boot, which is basically just. It just means when you deactivate it and reactivate it, it comes on quicker. That's all that is. Wow, what a brilliant one, Frontier. I've been waiting for it to come on a lot faster. Because I'm turning my FSD off all the time. Remember there as I just <laughs> adjusted my seating. Lovely, lovely. Feels I'll quickly uh, thingy scoop. Skim, skim scoop. Complete. Oh my god, it actually completed it while we did that. Cool. 42.1 yeah because we fitted the uh, light weight things didn't we so we've got a little bit extra jump range now to make up for the lack of mass manager I did the lightweight sensors only to grade 3 but it, it got us another couple of light years or maybe another one another one half half or one I don't know we have to be fully fueled to find out shit system isn't it this one
There's not a lot of there's not a lot of materials though for a mass manager. It doesn't it doesn't take up a lot of materials for that. Not from what I looked at today anyway. So on the core experimental mass manager. Yeah, you got five atypical disrupted wakes, one eccentric hyperspace trajectory, and three galvanizing alloys. So it's a long way to drive to go down to Frontiers just for nine nine materials. <laughs> I'd stay at home, Kiwi. Have a cup of tea. Right, so let's get these thrusters done and we'll test the speed first and then that's that's us. <laughs> we'll set up a GoFundMe for you about that. Five atypical disrupted wakes, one eccentric and one galvanizing alloys. And uh, and a handshake from Felicity or P Palin. We should have gone down and met Felicity. Actually, I forgot what her voice sounds like. I should have given her a real sexy voice. And then given a real gruff voice to uh, Ashling Duval when they do power play too, because she's <clears throat> she's on sixty a day. Hey, ah, uh, yeah, I've been. Uh, yeah. And then Felicity's like, uh, oh, hello. So would you like a grade five FSD with Mass Manager? No problem. Can't put a face to the voice. Right, this might be one of our last stops then today. Because I want to just make sure that I'm okay. Community goal, okay, <clears throat> but still, right? I suppose it makes sense if you commit if you're on the community goal, you, you get the mass manager on it as well. And if you're not, it seems a little petty, but on the other hand, it's a little reward, isn't it, for doing it? So, yeah, it kind of 
Yeah. I, I can see pluses and minuses for that. Spanish, Juan Juan, or not. Okay, Paley. Docking procedure completed. Ship secured. Greetings, Commander. Right, so this should take less rolls than last time. Dirty drives, go. Oh no, we don't have... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Thankfully we do have outfitting here. Thankfully, which is pretty accurate on the numbers, so we're okay. Alright, so speed 267, boost 348 if you're lucky on a good day. I want my, my top speed to be quicker than that boost speed. Right, let's see what happens. Obviously numbers will change when we start loading the ship with other bits and pieces, other modules, but for now... Let's get those dirties on the go. And I ha had it not been for the experimental, we could have put this on anywhere. But we, we do want the experimental, so let's put the drags on now. That's it. We can go to Dear Gwandry now. But we won't. There you go. One and two, done. Then should be about two two goes here, right? To get to four. Then three goes to get to five. I'm really interested now to see... Last time it took ten pharmaceuticals to do this. And we didn't even... We didn't close the circle, but it did get to 140. And I did two further rolls, and it stayed on 140. And I wasn't going to do another one. So let's see what this one does. That's number two, three, four, five. See, that's where I should stop. Because it's not going to really... Whatever we add on now is not going to make any freaking difference. Because that 140, in terms of Frontier, or in terms of Elite Dangerous, is anything above 139.5. So 139.51 or 139.6, it's going to class it... It's going to round it up to 140. So that's where we are. So it's so finite. And there you go. It, we closed it in six. We've got the experimental already on. So, talk to me. 267 and 348. There you go, 388. So now, the top speed is quicker than what our boost speed used to be, and now we're hitting 506 meters per second with a 43 light year jump range. And half the power used up at the moment, but we're not done yet. We have got to put weapons in. I do want to put a couple of shield boosters and a heat sink and stuff in. Maybe three shield boosters and a heat sink. And then 
add some cargo here and whatnot. And I definitely, oh, hold on, let me go, go back up here. Yeah, so in this class two, I want to put a, a, a hanger. They probably don't do them here, no. Oh, anti-corrosion. Uh, yeah, they. Um, I'm going to put a SUV, SRV, SRV, yeah. SRV hanger. I'm not going to do the four. I don't need two. I'm going to be in the bubble. I, I'm not going to need two SRVs. So we're just going to put an SRV in here and we'll cargo the rest out, I think. Guys, that's it. I'm done. I'm staying here. Um, because I don't want to go anywhere else tonight. So after a mammoth 7 hours and 37 minutes, we are done. Oh boy. <coughs> <sighs> Thank you everybody who are still here. And uh, yeah, we'll make further progress. The pipe, the Cobra's done, but will we use it anymore? Yeah, sure, we'll find a way. We'll data, we'll use it for data scanning. Next time I need to do data mind wake exceptions, we're going to be uh, using that one again. But I want to upgrade the wake scanner on it first. <coughs> so, I will catch you next time. And I'm going to go and get something to eat. So, Cheers, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your company, and see you next time. Enjoy.